Hello, people. Happy sad Saturday. Saturday, yeah. What's up? How's it going? Uh-oh. Is the Twitch chat not showing up on stream? Well, let's see if we can't fix that real quick. Dang it! Okay, uh, sorry. Give me one second, but hello, if you're here. I didn't expect there was gonna be scuff at the very, very beginning of the stream. That's cool. Uh, you! There you go. Hey, Nikoro. Hey, God of Cornbread. Hey, Shin Shin, what's up? Dang it, <laughs> yeah, what the beep? Uh, oh no, is stream elements down? Or is it weird? Oh, sorry, not stream elements. I want, uh, labs. That one. How's it going, Gapmeister? Login. Uh, I want to log in with y you. Yeah. In the meantime, you can look at this cool, like, funnel thing I made. Isn't that cool? It's a, a funnel. Kind of. Huh! It is not loading. Up here. Okay, that's bad. I logged into Streamlabs and the dashboard is just not loading. The website worked though, so I don't know what's up. Uh, hmm. Well, I mean, rest assured there are people watching on Twitch. Wait, I just lo- Hmm? Hmm? Okay, this works. Shish, where's my thing? I want my chat. But how have you guys been? How's your week been? I hope it's been good. Mine's been okay, I think. Copy. Refresh cache. Actually, Hashinshin, if you're there, uh, could you send a message real quick to see if this works or not? Oh, there it is. Nice. Been drawing more, producing hideous looking art pieces. Nah, man. We're, we all have those, those moments. You just have to go through them. Alright, it seems to be working. Nice. We saved the stream. <laughs> To let us go, the accident was years ago. <laughs> Wasn't my fault. <laughs> chat. I could have I could have saved you, chat. Alright, let's get rid of this and do some warm-ups. Uh, but yeah, so the plan for today is to start off with some warm-ups. And then hop right into drawing flare. Uh, so if we if you guys remember, maybe we'll open this in a little bit. Or now, actually, because I don't listen to myself. Uh, this is the pose that I kind of got to for Flare, um, which I still was kind of not um, convinced by, not completely convinced by. What else did we do? That was okay. That was whatever. Yeah, so I got a couple, I found a couple more poses that I think I'm gonna, well, decide between, essentially, and then maybe tweak a little bit. Um, that's not this one. So this one's fine, but I still think it can be a little bit more interesting without being too cramped. I don't know. Uh, I'll show you guys the poses um, once we get there. Uh, but for now, we'll just do the old warm-up thing. 
I'll start the timer. And oh, also, if I could bother you guys to let me know when, like, an hour has passed, because I have cookies that I made and I need to put them away before they, like, turn into to fossils on the stovetop. Or because the timer's running, I can just check and see when an hour has, has gone by. That also works. Body. Leg. I gotta take- I gotta go faster. These are one minute, not two minute. Good enough. God, trying to do these in one minute is really the worst, actually. I mean, it looks vaguely human, right? I don't like it, though. Exaggerating this arm a little too much, but that's fine. That's actually all right. Hey, Rocket Cat, what's up? I've returned, indeed. It's another another day of drawing. And you've also returned on the, the restart date for Holography. So we're gonna start on the first of the, the next 12 drawings today. And see where we get, because I'm I don't almost certain we're not gonna finish it in one go tonight. How have you been? How's your how's your week? Oh, I made his body too long. Oops, no time for arms, I guess. One more body and then we'll do hands and feet for a little bit. Misty streams, yeah, the drawing ones. Yeah, I apologize, the, what was it? Last week? What did I do last Saturday that it wasn't? It wasn't the fest, was it? I already forgot when fest was. No, it was, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I didn't draw on Saturday. Oh, this is weird. I 
think I got this. Mm, her arm is too big, but it's whatever. Yeah, so I didn't draw because the Hollow Life Fist Fest was last weekend. Uh, and then I played Armored Core and stuff, so... <laughs> that was obviously not drawing. I'm over a minute. I'm over a minute. I should stop. I should stop. I should stop. <laughs> That's fine. Hands and feet. Also one minute. Uh, we'll start with hands. I already wasted five seconds of my one minute. Did you watch all of this? Yeah, I bought the full streaming ticket. I was hesitant at first because I was like, that's a lot of money. But then I was like, you know what? Every other time I've done it, at the end I was like, you know, that was worth it. So I just bought the, the entire streaming thing. And indeed it was worth it. up with this thumb over here, huh? That's a little better. Do you guys watch any of it? Did you like watch one or two stages or you also watch the entire thing? Let's try and keep this shape that I've been doing. Half decent hand. Do you solve your wrist pain? Sort of. I mean, usually it's just a matter of waiting it out. Well, not waiting it out, but. Oops. Shit. Uh, like using the wrist brace and then waiting it out is. You know, it, it eventually stops hurting. Oh god. Give Clip Studio a minute while it figures out how to crop this and then I uncrop it. Wait, you didn't... Hello? Clip Studio? Yeah, no, undo. Please. Nice. Should probably buy one eventually. You didn't get a chance to watch, though. Ah, yeah. I mean, at least, um... Oh my god. The the thing, the VOD, stays up for like a month or so afterward. I think the, the VOD went up yesterday. So... You should be able to watch it at this point. But yeah, definitely... It was definitely a good time. It's insane, like, how... It was, like, at the same place... Wait, last year, right? Yeah, Makuhari Messe. But, like, the way that they had the stages set up, somehow it felt, like, even bigger. Like, even from just the stream standpoint. Big thumb. Big thumb. Uh, oh, oops. Okay, well, my bad. Person whose hand I'm drawing. Surprise you're not drawing feet? I mean, don't worry, we're about to get there. Uh, hey, hello, Alan Smithy, welcome. 
Nice to watch it tonight then, yeah! Oh my god, it's writing the file for like 10 minutes. And I have to restart this last hand. Hello? Yeah, the VOD is also nice, because then if you wanted to take uh, screenshots of your favorite moments, you can just do it. Okay. This bit here. This bit here. This is a long hand. Um. I want to say it's long, but it's slender, really. Not long. That's too slender for a middle finger, though. <laughs> Oops. That's weird proportions, but... We'll just scooch this on up. Maybe that'll fix it? Hmm... Eh. Close enough. Alright, feet time. Oh, Rez from earlier! Okay, what's up? How's it going? Glad to see you can make it. I think they eventually come out on BD2. Yeah, that's true. I don't have a... well, I have a PS4, but... I usually don't buy BDs unless they come with, like, a limited time merch or something. And then it has to be something that, like, I, I actually, like, really, really want. Okay, let's take stock of this pose here. Oh god. I think I've said this before, but at least with hands, even though they're hard to draw, like, they're not that flexible once you get used to the bones and stuff and how, you know, the, the possible shapes a hand can take. But feet are just fucking weird. Even if you know the bones, ew, I hate it. Even if you know the bones and stuff, it can always manage to contort itself into a weird way that you're like, that doesn't seem possible. That doesn't seem right. It's called etching. <laughs> oh, what's up Astro Infinity? Welcome. Is the best brush control Z. Honestly, kind of. <laughs> Let's see, what angle is this heel at? Probably this. God, it's already been a minute. More or less, I think. Stuff is hard. I drew this yesterday. But fetish is the worst, not because it's gross or anything, but because it's the hardest to draw. I mean, that's how you know, like, an artist is, like, dedicated. They're locked in, right? Like... If they draw, like, hands or feet or whatever, like, incredibly good. Oh, there's one artist. I don't actually know their name, but I've seen, like, their their hands a couple times. They show up on, like, Pinterest references and stuff pretty often. And it's almost like they're flexing. Because they're just like, oh, hands practice, and it's, like, the most gorgeous, like, immaculate hands you've ever seen. 
new details just just vibes there we go and this comes up a little more so you can see the arch there that's definitely a foot I remember that artist, his name is Kira Yoshikage, he's 28 years old. <laughs> like, huh, weird. I feel like I've heard that name before, somehow. Honestly, that man's, like, lifestyle and schedule, like, Jesus. At 28 to have like such a a dedicated, you know, like self-care plan laid out and all that shit. Com absolutely like envious of that man. For that reason only. Mm, those are weird, weirdly long, I feel like. I just didn't get the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops. Close enough. <laughs> Polydactyl? That's neat. What, like they're <laughs> they're stuck together? <laughs> no, I'm just uh, lazy. Not drawing the full foot, the full details. Just getting the shape in there. Could never keep that up. Honestly, same. Like, I think I brought it up before. Like, oh yeah, sometimes I like to exercise and stuff, and then I'll do it for like maybe two, three months. It's not even that intense exercise, because I don't have like the means to do a full like home body weight exercise routine. And then something like Thanksgiving or, or, or Christmas happens, and then it's just like, well, I haven't exercised for a month, and now it's been three months, and I haven't exercised. So, oops. I have tried starting back up again uh, the past two weeks, though, so we'll see how that goes. It'll probably be good for, like, my shoulders, which tend to get tired when I draw for a long time anyway. At least doing rows is it's pretty good for that. Seems to help. Not quite in line with the reference, but it's good. All right, that's the warm up. No six each. Oh, did I draw six? What did it was? No, I drew five. Yeah, I drew five. Looks normal until you look at it for longer than six seconds. Why? Because you're looking at each toe for one full second. Go to the gym or just working? Nah, just working out at home. Uh, yeah, it's basically, like, very simple warm-up stretching, like, arm stretching, and then... Ideally, it would be a series of... So this is the, the Reddit bodyweight fitness routine that I looked at, like, years ago. But it's, like, a, a simple routine of, like, push-pull, uh, what is it? Arms, legs, and then core exercises. Um, and you eventually, like, work up to doing, you know, more, more intense stuff that you need, like, more strength, but all with your body weight. Never in fact look baller in wingtip shoes. Same here with the working out, it's hard to keep up. Yeah, it's real tough. Like, even if you're like disciplined for, you know, some time, just like one, one moment of weakness and you'll just, just like lose it, lose the, the habit. Oh, this is, how do I on zoom? Okay. Flare. Left the flare. 1955. Okay. 
You know, there you have six toes on each foot and it looks completely normal until you sort of just look at them. Oh, you do! Oh, that's cool. I don't think I've actually ever met someone with polydactyly in real life. That's kind of cool. And not make the shoes in wide. Can't imagine what extra toe acts, adds that much with. I feel like... Well, depending on how you get your shoes, like, getting them in wide to be a pain. Because I'm used to always going to the store to get them, where if they have the exact shoe you want in, in wide is a luxury. Alright, let's- oh, I gotta bring up the refs here. So is this... Okay. Refs, the refs, the refs, the refs, the refs. Where are you? Here. And then I've got my personal refs in front of me for... Uh, for artist reference. I th Okay, I think I can show all of these. Um, there's nothing... explicit in them. Nothing is peeking out. If you know what I mean. Uh, so they should be good... Question mark? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. I think that's fine. Nope, not you guys. You. Just you. Okay, I'm gonna turn this on and then hope that the stream survives and doesn't get shot. Could also show on Discord if it's not safe for work. No, I took- I got rid of all the... Um, the not safe ones. Uh, specifically so I could show it here. Also, I wasn't using them. I decided I didn't want to use them anyway. Okay, three, two, one. References. I know it's small. <laughs> I apologize, but that's uh, what we're working with for now. And then let me scooch this over so it's still in the corner up here. It might be a little bit annoying um, if it blocks some of the view. But usually I don't draw, like, up here anyway, so, like, you probably won't miss too much. Almost got shafted when it comes to shoes. I wear a size 13 and that's a high- oh, dang, yeah. One more size and you'd never be able to find them. That's rough, man. <clears throat> New Balance are basically the only normal brand you'll see that make 40 wide. Dang. Well, if I were in your shoes, haha, shoes, um, I would be lucky because I always get New Balance <laughs> for some reason. Is that Rem? Uh, yeah, it is. It's a, a Rem cosplay. Oh, yeah, also on, on showing the stuff on Discord if it's not appropriate for stream. That is a thought that I had, um, so I might do that in the future, actually. Um, yeah, if I can't show all the references because some of them are, like, too... Spicy. Uh, I might do Discord screen share for like just this window or something. Um, man, speaking of Discord, I'll have to send out that link again because I think it was a one week invite. Uh, where are we? So the reference that I was thinking of or the ones that I was leaning most towards are this one in the top right, the bunny outfit one. Not the outfit, but the pose. Because um, I mean, that just looks cool. IMO, right? Like it fills the space. Nicely, I think. Uh, and then, you know, foot over here. And then maybe instead of having her hand like that, she'll have the shoe like I had before. And then the other leg is there. So that's one option. Either that one. Um, and I was thinking of this one at the bottom middle. Um, like this, like, first perspective one here. Um, love a Discord invite if you want to just DM and say, all right, sure, yeah, just give me a second, I'll, I'll grab one. Uh, well, this one? This one. Yeah, copy. There we go. Don't even have a foot fetish, <laughs> you just can't draw feet. 
Okay, there you go. Let me know if it doesn't work. Oh, so yeah, the sports perspective one was another option. But... Uh, because, specifically because, right, there's the, the shoes are in frame. But I think in the end I'm leaning more towards that bunny one and then one of these three with this this woman. I don't even know if you can... Oh yeah, you can see my mouse. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, yeah, this this lady. Um, one of those three. Because those feel a little more natural and also probably easier to draw in terms of my ability and mental stability. Um, so I could... Unless, you know, one of these, not this one, because she's not, her face isn't in there. Um, so I could do a poll or something, or like take opinions, if you guys have any strong opinions on on what pose you think suits Flare the best, or what which one you think would turn out uh, most interesting. Um, but yeah, just let me know, otherwise I'll probably think about it for another minute or two and then just roughly start sketching out my ideas for, for each one of these. What is this? Oh, yeah. I'm silly. <laughs> Draw some ovals in the meantime. <laughs> I think the one in the middle looks best for Flair. The... <clears throat> Like the middle middle one? This is the one that's like next to her character sheet? This one? Or, oh, this this one at the bottom. It would be cool if it was easy to label stuff in pure ref. That would be nice. The one to the right... oh. This one. <laughs> middle middle one is your pick, you think? Third, one, two, three... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the finger to the mouth. I probably wouldn't quite wouldn't do it exactly finger to the mouth. Instead, I would probably adjust that one so the hand is holding the shoe like up in front of her. Um, yeah, that that's also my caveat for one of these ones down here. I'll probably adjust them a little bit, not draw them exactly. That would look cool, yeah. Actually, for, for Gura's, I did something similar. Because for Gura's, her pose... Oh, well, it's right here. I can pull it up real quick. Um, the pose wasn't exactly like that. She just had her hand on her chin in the original reference. And so I was just like, might as well just like make the finger sticking out and add the shoe in there. My finger to the mouth and you could have toe to the mouth. Asking the real questions. Third one from the ref is pretty nice. Okay, yeah, this one's good. Also, I think it adds a little bit of, um... In terms of the rest of the, the set here, it adds some variety because that pose is, like, leaning left, right? Like, this way. As opposed to all the other ones, which kind of seem to be leaning right. Like, Nodoka, her head is to the right. Iroha here, her, like, the line of her legs is to the right. Yofi also. Aki. Okay, maybe we'll go with that one then. It's <laughs> just chewing on her own toe. God. Okay, speaking of that, was that like a weird tick you had as a kid, or was that just me? Because like I know, like you know, some people like don't really grow out of like chewing their fingernails and stuff like that. But when when I was like when I was a kid, I I did that with my feet too, and I was like, "What the fuck are you doing? Like, stop doing that!" <laughs> God, I never. I hate biting your nails. You never did it. Oh, that's good. That's just some good discipline. <laughs> okay, and these I'll just move around so they're less in the way. I would. I chew my fingernails still. It sucks. I do too. I don't like hate it, I just like am used to it and can't stop. Uh, oops. There. Okay, and now we can... Nice, nice, nice. Alright. We got our refs. 
Describe taste, please. I think I'm good. I don't think you would want to to f to know what that is either. That said, how the fuck am I supposed to remember? That was like almost 30 years ago. <laughs> Okay, let's take stock of this reference. Uh, ah, okay. I think I see how it is. I'm using like this composition thing here, so the shoulders are roughly here. Slightly from below? Yeah. Although... Hmm. Now this sketch is going to be a little bit more detailed in terms of anatomy than the other ones just because that's how I've been feeling more confident recently in them. Oh, she's leaning back, actually. Uh, let's scrap it. <laughs> Never mind. Hello, hey, Mori, what's up? How's it going? I mean, the fingernails were an OCD thing. Should work on stopping. Uh, yeah. Did it when I was young because we had like 10 nail clippers you could never find. Oh, God. When you're a kid, your bones are made of jelly, so who cares when you can wrap your calf around your neck? Oops. gonna be tough. Um, uh, not good. I'm not good. <laughs> it's gonna tough this one out as best we can until a pose looks semi-reasonable. Mm, center of the chest is roughly in the middle. about where the knee goes. And then this part we can kind of wing the leg over here to some extent. And just put the foot right in front. For this, I wonder, maybe it'll be beneficial to do a second pass at the, the sketch. Like a refined sketch, actually. No bite nail lacquer. Oh, is that a thing? Should be able to get it at any major store in the US. Oh, I didn't know that was a like a, a thing you could get to counter it. So lacquer sounds insane. Like
elbow is like here. There's our hand. And we can scooch this a little bit. I feel like Flair is a bit underrated in this department. Am I wrong? As in like like feet or, or what? Like legs? Definitely not. Feet probably, yeah. I don't I can't say that I've seen much part of if any. Uh with Flair's, Flair's feet. kind of thing I've done here. I'm not feeling it. But at least the idea is there. bit differently. Oh, we can do that in a better refined sketch. Ah, uh, yeah, I see. Okay, so her actual... Yeah, this looks really fucked up, but... We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Shit, I didn't turn on the time lapse. Okay. This is probably a good time to turn it on anyway, because this is not what I would want people to see. <laughs> Could be definitely, yeah. Some of the best legs, bro. Did you if you see the, the her three D performance? Like holy shit, it's insane. <laughs> like you sometimes forget because you never see their like the lower half of their their models right when they're streaming normally. But like goddamn, like even even with Flair's three D, her thighs are insane. <laughs> Looks perfect. Don't know how to manage to get it perfect every time. Uh, we'll we'll figure it out. If this is perfect, then I don't. I have no idea what to call the final product. <laughs> Most recent Watame from Casino's Chef's Kiss. Yeah, Watame stuff is good. Casino's so good. I, I, I'm like always hoping that he like branches out into more of JP and sometimes EN as well. Keep that face for the final thing. <laughs> and keep giving her the Dwarf Fortress default face. We lack Luna's to his. Yeah, there's only a couple that I've seen. Um, was it Arax? Did Arax do one of Luna a while back? Maybe? Uh, what am I doing? I should be drawing. I should be drawing. Uh, if it wasn't him, there was... No, 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 it was someone else. Saiga did, I think. One. I did one last year. With tights. Uh, let me see how this kind of goes. I think we'll just clean this up a little bit before I go on to the second pass of it. <clears throat> oh, I see. Okay, so the foot should be a little bit more inward, actually. Okay. <laughs> Iris and Ame as well, there's not much. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> Keep the face. Not gonna lie, I kinda wanna redo this completely because the proportions are weird and off. Uh, so I will go ahead and do that. Just start from something simpler. OK, 
again. Okay. And I mean simpler, I, I mean we should start with a bean instead of a full body. Kind of like really figure out where this this curve is going. Like the way that she's leaning and sitting, like the curve of her back. We might be here for a little while, so get comfortable. <laughs> Controller is up because of the arm. Well, this shoulder is down. Because it's not flexing or pushing against anything. Diagonal neck. Place in that direction. I also have been thinking in the back of my mind, maybe it would be a good idea um, eventually to do like mini tutorials, like mini anatomy tutorials, if that's something that you guys would be interested in. And like post them as, well, potentially like make like couple minute long videos on them. And then like split that into shorts as well if there's like crucial parts that could be useful. Because I... I've been meaning to <laughs> from like the very beginning. Uh, but like I just, I never finished the hand tutorial that I started like a year ago. Almost at this point. But I feel like if I'm gonna finish that hand tutorial, I might as well make it something bigger. And like flesh it out into like a longer thing. I guess the downside would be that uh, a better version of that video exists in Proko's videos. So I don't know how useful mine would be, because I'd basically just be saying the same thing. Except maybe for the part where I talk about how I do gesture drawings for hands. <laughs> hey Akko, how's it going? More holography? Let's go! You'd definitely watch it. I hope it would be useful, I don't know. Would love one for hair. I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty shit at hair, I feel like. Like... My, like, drawing hair is really hit or miss. Like, it might seem fine in the render, but that's just because the... the way that I render it out hides, like, the shittiness of the actual structure of the hair. Like, I feel like in basically every every single one of my drawings, there's a problem with the hair that I can point out. Okay, yeah, this... Like this. We'll make that neck a little bit skinnier. Oh, we remember. <laughs> Oops. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, I'll think about it, because I have the first half, I guess, of that hand thing done, which is the majority of the work. The problem is I don't have any time lapses of drawing the hands um, that I drew for that, or like the bone stuff. Because in my opinion, like the anatomy, the bone stuff is really what um, is the secret to it, like how you, how you really figure out the whole thing. And I just kind of drew those, I didn't time lapse them or anything, so I was like, well, I didn't plan to do anything more with it. Oopsies. We can figure something out. I can draw a couple new ones here and there. The annoying thing will be to draw the bones and then draw the rest of the hand on top. I shouldn't be doing details yet. Let's do this at best. Hair is tough, feel like it has to be natural, yeah. Like, people are always like, or well, the, um, 
one of the tutorials I saw for it was just like, if you know how to draw the head, if you know how to draw a sphere, you can draw hair. Which is like, yeah, but also no. Because, <laughs> like... When you, especially if you're, like, doing stylistic, like, anime-style stuff, it can get really weird and really complicated really fast. Especially if you want there to be, like, you know, lots of waves and, and, and fancy designs and stuff in the hair. Okay, this is here. And this should actually be back further. So the middle of her pelvis... Probably here. Can't see the back pelvis, so it's probably something like this. <laughs> Angle is slightly upwards. We'll do this. But yeah, like that hand tutorial, which again is incomplete, I would like to do a foot one. Because uh, even though the bones of like the hand and the feet are really similar, uh, somehow like the foot is just like a total nightmare in comparison. For a convincing one, at least I think. And then her outfit, let's see. Okay, outfit, we got dress. I like how Locke included like an armpit shot in the <laughs> in this character sheet. Truly based. Based and arm pilled. this face shape as much as I thought I did. Should be turning more. Is the head too big? No, it's like anime, but I don't want to make the head too humongous if I can't help it. Nope, nope. There. The biggest thing I look for and can't really find much from tutorials like Hands and Procus is how they personally do their shapes with the hands and why they prefer certain gestures. Yeah, that's the thing about Procus. Like, I feel like you have to start not from like the middle of the tutorial, the anatomy part, but like really go from his initial like figure drawing stuff and then just kind of like immerse yourself in what is this what the hell is this in like the the language and the stuff he uses because like when they're doing gestures and stuff they'll talk about things like flow the gesture and the rhythm and stuff and like those words mean nothing honestly like what the hell is a rhythm if you're just starting out you'll be like i don't know what that means um and in the end it all really is like the rhythm and stuff all that kind of stuff comes down to basically feeling like you know, you could say, oh yeah, this arm has a rhythm like that or whatever. Or like, the shoulders have a rhythm, if I drew them out, that kind of arcs like that or something. But you have to like, make the connections between like the words, yeah, that's right. Yeah, between the words that they're using and like, how that translates to the drawings they're doing. So like, unfortunately there is just kind of like a time sink that you have to put into... to... that foot is huge, like wide. Um... To like grasp the the terminology they're using because it's not intuitive at all um yeah and then in the end like the shapes and stuff that they use for the gestures are i think motivated or informed by the actual structure and anatomy and stuff that they they teach and and you know go through in the the lesson videos um 
But I mean, again, you have to like kind of be familiar with their the way that they like see and and talk about drawing. You know, because words like rhythm and flow and gesture, they have a meaning. But like, if you ask someone, ask them to define it, it's not entirely clear. This thigh is not angled up as much, or is she just too? Yeah, this thigh is not angled upwards enough. But it's not so... Okay, this... Mm, what have I done? What have I done and how did I fuck it up? <clears throat> Alright, let's compare and contrast our work with the actual drawing, or the actual pose there. So it could be larger, slimmer, and more towards the shoulder. Her knee is basically horizontal. Her other leg, sorry, not her knee. And it also starts out here. So the foot we can correct in a refined sketch, but I just want to make sure that the angle of that thigh is... Or her knee, her thigh, um, is better, you know, determined when I draw it here. I feel like it needs to be larger, even. And then this hand is going to come up behind the foot. What angle are we looking at here? I think we can even move all of this up just a little bit. Make her arm a little bit more slim. Gee, when you're starting, it's almost impossible to use the dynamism or action line. It takes a long time to see like an artist here. Yeah. Feet! Yeah, exactly. How's it going? Welcome. There's actually one, um... So Proko has a podcast called The Draftsman Podcast, which already ended. But they did, I think, a special episode earlier this year with Jeff Watts, who is Proko's teacher. And at some point, I think Proko asked him, like, directly, like, oh, what does it mean? Like, what is gesture? What is rhythm? And, like, he actually kind of had, like, a pretty difficult time explaining it. <laughs> Which is weird, because Jeff Watts is, like, I think a very eloquent guy in terms of being able to explain, like, artistic concepts and stuff like that. Oops. Uh, but yeah, like, that's, hopefully, if I do these tutorial things, like, that's one thing I would like to maybe not focus on, but, like, make it a little clear is, like, why is this shape, you know, when doing the gesture or whatever, um, like, a preferred shape for me? Or, like, why do I think it's useful to, to block in a thing like this? And in the end, it is all informed by, like, the actual anatomy of the stuff. Um, which is why I think it's important to really know the anatomy, because the anatomy gives you the restrictions, but it also, you know, tells you how far you can bend things or break those restrictions without making the body look broken, you know? We can bring the shoulder up just a little bit, I think. Oh... Uh, yeah, but the foot, though, the foot is wild. Feet three. Feet two, feet five. Oh god, he's invading all the chats. Also, heads are weird. This head is not correct. That head ain't right. This looks like a nasty deformed head that I would like make in live 2D while oh, I'm trying to figure out how to rig the the shapes. I 
Oh god, what have I done? Um... We'll just oval it. Oval it once again. Even that feels a little better than whatever the fuck I had. Okay, hand here. And then we're just gonna shift this whole thing. Right there. And I think that's essentially... ...what's going on in this picture originally, right? Head is still in a funky place, but we'll manage somehow. I'm gonna do a different layer for this hand up here. And then the shoe is a... A weird shape, because <laughs> it's a shoe. Oh, is it time for cookies? Oh, thank you, good point. Let me do that real quick and save. Uh, where's my thing? Not bathroom speedrun this time. Uh, well, maybe bathroom speedrun uh, how do I edit this? And... Cookie... Logistics. Okay. Uh, is it really good to learn from multiple sources even if they overlap a lot? You find which explanation or philosophy even resonates with you. I learned gesture most from Matisse's Forest Book. Okay, yeah, it's actually, I think... I get this out of the way so it's not... <laughs> like, distracting. Um, I think that is a good thing, right? Um, because if you're using multiple resources, uh, if one doesn't help you in one department, the other might make up for it there, right? Because, like, you know, certain people will will explain things in a given way that, you know, either it clicks for you or it doesn't. So some people might be, like, more logical about one aspect of drawing and then, like, more, like, you know, vibes on another one. Um, whereas another person might be the opposite. And so depending on how your personal, like, approach to understanding stuff is, it could be good to look at multiple resources. So, like, I I personally do it all the time. I have a bunch of anatomy books. I have, like, three or four right now. Um, how on earth are you still trying VTuber feed? Because uh, there's a lot of VTubers and I'm not done with this project. But welcome. How you doing? Um, but yeah, I use... Obviously, I studied all of Proko for to learn anatomy, um, but even then, you know, sometimes like just relying on the stuff you remember from Proko is not enough, or even going back to f like through the videos and stuff to figure out exactly where something you need is like takes a lot of time. It's a lot of effort. Um, so, if you have some of the additional resources, it can sometimes be faster and also give you like a different insight. Because maybe they're like the original resource that Roku or some other person used um, to develop their own style or their own understanding of like this art concept, whether it's anatomy or colors or whatever. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend using multiple because like Proko's good, Matisse is good. I mean, he must be because Proko features him on his channel all the time. Um, dude, who else does stuff good for gesture? A uh, Glenn Vilpu. Uh, is actually one of the older drawing teachers from, like, early 1900s. Or not early 1900s, he was around in the 60s, what am I talking about? Um, but I think Proko uses some of Glenn Vilpu's stuff in his lessons as well. So if you want to see, like, the original version of those, like, the way that he does, like, the, the figures and the shapes for figure drawing and stuff like that, Vilpu's a good resource. Um, Michael Hampton's figure drawing book is also good. Again, Michael Hampton... This is a lot of is is a big reference that Proko uses. Um, you love Vilpu, yeah? Vilpu is really good. And uh, who's the other one? There's one for drawing and gesture that people recommend, even though personally I don't like the, their art style. Um, oh gosh, what's this guy's name? He's also from like the 50s and 60s, but for the li life of me, I can't remember his name right now. 
Goku is always like barefoot. Draw a dragon, this will provide aim to your soul. How's it going, Dead Knight? Guru I think is the most drawn for feet art. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, geez, it's not Michael Hampton. There's like a G somewhere in his name. Oh god, what's this dude's fucking name? Give me a second, let me look through my um, refs. I might have one of his, his books somewhere. Oh, the Morpho books are good for anatomy also. I recommended Morpho to someone the other day. Uh, not you. Not you. Probably actually don't have his book because I don't like the way his stuff looks. Carry you feet? No, just a straight up dragon. James Gurney? No, not James Gurney. But James Gurney is good um, for color and stuff. He's an insane. His color and light book is definitely wonderful. You should look at it. Um, uh, textbooks. Bern Hogarth, that's his name. Bern Hogarth. Um, he has a series of books of like gesture, whether it's the figure and anatomy, whether it's like the human figure or like clothing and stuff like that. I just absolutely do not vibe with his his drawing style. Like it's it's weird, it's exaggerated, which in a sense is good because people always tell you to like exaggerate, um, and stuff like that, but. Fuck, I don't know. The way that he, like, draws it is... Okay, now that I'm looking at his his, his drapery book... Um, yeah, do not vibe at all with him, yeah. Had an explanation that really clicked. Yeah, some of his explanations are, like, extremely good, but just, like, visually it's hard for me to... Like, you know, look at the stuff and, and, and be comfortable, I guess. But yeah, looking at the cover for his drapery book, like, there's so many wrinkles and folds. And it, it reminds me of, like, when we're talking about, like, you know, feet artists who draw, like, they try to do extremely, not realistic wrinkles, but a lot of them. To the point where sometimes it's, like, too much, like, visually. That's how I feel about his, his, his clothes drawing. For his figure drawings, I don't know. It was weird. Like, it, they're useful books, like, 100%. Um, so I'll mention them as a resource, but I don't, I don't vibe with them. Something weird. Uh, anyway, uh, I will be right back. I have to go do cookie logistics and then also bathroom logistics. So BRB, give me like five minutes.
Hello. I've returned. The cookies are safe. I mean, a few times you've seen me be associated with cookies. Now we need some feed with cookies or, or cookie-based OC. <laughs> Oops. Feed with cookie sounds good. I, I can figure something out for that, probably. Okay, where were we at here? This hand, how do I feel about this hand? Yeah, that's alright. It's about the size. We can even make it smaller. Do we need to? Uh, the shoe, the shoe, the shoe, the shoe. This is the weird part. The shoes suck. Welcome back. Thank you. Don't think I need to do that. Wait, do what? Like, um... Draw cookies and feet? Or something else? That I already forgot. less like this, but the shoe is not even that angle. It's steeper. Cookies and feet are great on their own. Yeah, but have you ever thought of combining the two, though? But think about it. The cookie. The great American pastime. Or something. Beloved pastry. And the foot. It helps us move. And also, some people like them in other ways. A little too much, perhaps. What if we combine them? Imagine this is like Steve Jobs presenting on a stage, by the way. <laughs> this is like CES or something. Have you have you seen those like TikTok shorts or like Instagram shorts of like the guy who's like being a tech CEO on like a date or whatever? And he's always like, imagine, mm, yeah, uh, it's like this, um, right? So sometimes you combine this thing and that thing, right? I think I have a slide for this. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, um, and it's really good. We're innovating and stuff like that. this guy. He does like an extremely good like annoying tech bro voice, like presenter voice. To flavor cookies, where do I buy? They're out of phase with one another, are they? But what if we tried to bring them in phase with each other? You can't stop the forward march of progress. Cookies and feet are inevitable. This shoe looks terrible. Oh, that's because I'm not drawing the right uh, line there. Oh, okay. The color line and like the actual like foot part are not the same. This is too big. And this comes up too much. Right foot, right? Yeah, right shoe. Okay. I want to make sure, especially at this stage, that we're not drawing the wrong side of things in the wrong place. <coughs> Imagine cookie on feet, or cookie with feet. Good lord. There's another option for the cover girls now. Hollow Witch, Fauna, Risu, and Shia. Ooh, that's a good one, actually. That's actually incredibly good. Fuck. <laughs> I'm going to write that down. 
Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Where's my thing? My master file. And that's a really good one. Where are you? Let's add. Insert one row above. So yeah, her fucking her witch hat is so cute. Oh my god. Yum. Mixed. Uh, which? Is she on? Do any of them wear sandals or barefoot by default? If not, I mean, it doesn't matter. We'll just make them. The combo does go hard. Yeah, that's pretty good. character is this flare yeah so oh, i guess you can only see her shoes right now fitting for the type of stream this is uh but this is shiranui flare her face at least uh she's a she's not a half elf right she's like an elf elf dark elf uh she's an insanely good singer uh and shoe but how big would this be the shoe can be a little larger, maybe. And then I want to do this. Something like that, perhaps. <clears throat> I forgot. I should open another window of this separately so I can look at it reflected without having to constantly flip, which I do anyway. So. Uh oh, uh oh. Tan elf? I think it's racism. <laughs> I think she's a half elf, no half no no high elves allowed. Is she? I thought she I could have sworn she was like a full dark elf. There. Okay. There are no pure but elves in Hollow Life. Oh wow, okay. I almost selected all of the stuff. <laughs> okay, for a little bit we're gonna be shifting things around just a tad. Is Lami a half elf too? Is she not a, just like a snow elf? Let's see head. This is back in space a little bit, so maybe the size of this is smaller. But just a tad. Lots of elves. You would think, but it's only like three? And there hasn't been an elf or elf, elven adjacent VTuber in Hollow Life for what, three years now? Yeah, since Lamy debuted, right? Actual image there. Okay, now let's do a refined sketch. Because I'm not totally convinced with this one. So, I see part of what I've done is that this foot is tilted a little bit too much to the right compared to the reference. Lami Flare and then I guess Ina, or am I missing one? Lami Flare and Aki. Uh, Ina's technically a quote unquote normal human being. 
Uh, I think, is what she said. Size is roughly as big as the head. Yeah, okay. Normal humans is the girl with pointy ears and tentacles on her back. Well, I'm sure you know, there's I'm sure she's she wouldn't lie. They wouldn't just lie to us, right? To the viewers? The precious viewers. Maybe this arm can be a little bit more straight when we draw it again. I never do this like refined sketch thing, so I'm a little not 100% sure how I'm going to proceed here. But we'll uh, figure it out like we generally do. Actually, this is where I can probably introduce some of the anatomy stuff, right? As if I didn't do it already. <laughs> Am I an elf? No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I'm a human being. This arm can be a little more straight. figure that hand out a little bit later. Yeah, damn, I drew... I guess I drew the shape, the bend of that arm right. I just, like, had it too far out to the side, so maybe. Maybe, maybe. You do this. Then... Oops. We do... this. Bring it in. <clears throat> yeah, okay. That seems okay. This foot has to be tilted more in this direction. I forgot my soda's name. Wasn't it sleepy in Japanese? Oh yeah, Nemuri. Yeah. Um this is technically not my my persona. My persona is Mua, who is actually on the thumbnail. I just have not gotten around to drawing a... Um, the equivalent of this, like, little bouncy talking avatar for Mua. That was one of the options for today, actually, so maybe in a, in a future stream we'll get around to that. Actually, because I wanted to, instead of using the current program that I'm using for this, like, PNG, reactive PNG, I want to use a different one. There's, like, a PNG Tuber Plus, which someone developed, wrote, coded a while back. Which gives you some some more interesting dynamic options for it. It's very cool. And if I can figure that out, it could be another thing. Another fun. What am I doing? No details. Shapes. Do big shapes. This isn't line art. That could be another fun thing to do, or perhaps to offer as a commission if people are interested in in that. Because it's basically drawing a normal drawing and then just splitting things up into layers here and there. I should have drawn a the heel first. What am I doing? Mm. 
Okay, that's more than the heal, but it's good to have to draw through sometimes. I guess if we want to really show that it's tilted towards the left, that's the kind of thing that like the rendering will really shine, or will it'll be made clearer. And it's probably good, at least here, to have a visual indicator that that's what I'm trying to do. Weird that pointy ears as cute are as cute as they are. There's no reason for them to be. Yeah. I mean, like, on animals and stuff, it's cute, right? Like, cats have pointy ears. Some dogs have pointy ears, and they're pretty cute. I guess that's just, like, the, the natural human version of that kind of thing. Natural human? No, not natural, but, you know, the... The, the human version... I guess you might expect it to also be kind of cute. If we found it cute on animals. Big toe in front, I think. Mm, just a little bit wide, I think. If we rotate, no, that's the right angle, though. Maybe I just have to ignore this cylinder that I drew and kind of shift it over. Toe's not big enough. Weirdly. Not feeling that. She's in the perfect position to be a booba sensor. <laughs> I think you're not wearing any clothes would be too lewd for this book. Uh, maybe. I think... Yeah, I'm not necessarily, like, trying to, to make this one, like, a, a lewd thing. It's somewhere in between, like, not classy, but... Uh, I don't know what the, the right word is for it. But at, least, at the very least, not, like, explicit explicit. thinking of, though, at some point in the future doing a, a version of that. Some version of that. I don't know when, but one day, possibly. Let's rotate and bring this closer. Guys have got to be stretched out. Up. <clears throat> kind of like this. <laughs> Idea: Make the book scratch and sniff. Where in the where the hell would I get like the funds and like the the source of the the object of sniffage to do that? Like. not the right shape quite. I think those toes are too big. I'm just shrink them. Shrink them and move them around. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. We're getting there, slowly. I mean, that, that sure is a foot adjacent object, right? Cool. I have it on this other screen here, and I didn't even flip it. So I'm stupid. Zoom in. Nope. Zoom out a little bit. Dang it. Okay, flip. There. Uh, it's a great idea that we gotta find it. <laughs> Scratch and sniff sticker. Actually, we saw the other day, um, Young, Younggui? I don't know if that's how you pronounce it correctly. But she she's doing, like, OC foot stickers, right? <laughs> I, might, <laughs> I wish my face was a foot adjacent option. <laughs> Where do you find these references? So, a lot. I find them from various places. Sorry, I have cookie in my mouth. Um, some of them are from Twitter, just like following people or whatever, and then like foot models and stuff. And then sometimes they'll retweet other foot models. So I'll just like say, okay. So I'll just like, if I see something that looks like a good pose or whatever, I'll just like save it real quick. Uh, this one, I think, is from Instagram. I don't know if this... if it's like... I don't think I got it from the original models page. Uh, but Instagram has a bunch of places that will like post and, and repost and promote and stuff. Um, the only problem is that like saving them from Instagram is a huge pain in the ass. You have to like find another another place, like website or whatever service to to save the stuff from. They're not the highest quality, but that's good if you want to save a bunch of them. Also, at least in Instagram, you have, like, folders. You can be like, oh, this is where I want feet, and this is where I want, you know, just regular, like, cosplay poses and stuff like that. Like, pin-up poses and whatnot. <laughs> Which would be cool if Twitter had something like that that you didn't have to pay for. This is behind the hand. I can see that. <clears throat> There's actually also a couple of like, I guess agencies? I don't know if they're agencies, but they're like groups that like do like four foot models and stuff. Um, and so I follow some of their pages. And they have, like, they sell, like, photo sets and stuff. And I've been considering buying some of them to see if, like, the stuff in the sets is, like, there's anything that's worth versus what they already shared for free online. Um, but I don't know, I just haven't done it yet. Or looked into it, really. Uh, knee first. No, knee's, like, here. Hmm. <laughs> 
I wonder if anyone's made a ref boru kind of thing, like a reference photo character ref sheet aggregator website. There's a couple. Um, they're like, I think they're in general, they're kind of like separated by like not topic, but source material. Um, so for example, there's um, Sete Dreams, like S E T T A S E T T E I, um, where people will upload high quality scans of like from video games and anime like character designs and and stuff that was used in the design process from the official books and stuff that they sometimes sell for those. Um, I think sometimes it has issues like staying up, but that's a good place if you want official character sheets and stuff like that. Uh, they'll even sometimes they'll have like the the animation cells and stuff. Or not animation cells, is it? Um, like the the stuff that they use in like production and pre-production. Oh, so there's Sete Dreams. There's um there's one for video games, Creative Uncut. It's for video games, so you can go and find you know like the um, art book scans from like Near or or Dark Souls or, or um, Final Fantasy and stuff like that. I gotta oops turn this on. So we've got. My artist references here. Let's plug this in. So yeah, I have also here my my other tablet, my like standalone tablet. That now I'm using that for like the artist references instead of having that open on my 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 main computer, so that there are less windows to get confused by. So sorry you can't see that. Um, but if you would like me to share those art artist references that I'm using, I can. Because uh, pure ref is very good, uh, and it's nice to have everything in one. Oh, well, this is not pure ref, but I have it on my computer anyway. Nice, I'm noting it all. Are there others other than those two? Um, there's gotta be for things like for things like regular poses, like not specifically from like anime or cosplayers and stuff like that. Speaking of cosplayers, there's probably one for cosplayers. I'm not sure what it is. Um. There's another website that I don't know if I I should mention it because I don't know the full legality of it in terms of like copyright like or or, or like DMCA stuff. I don't know if the the they've uh, acquired their photo sets and stuff in a fully legal manner, but they have them on there. So for safety's sake, I won't name drop it here. Uh, but if somehow you can get a hold of me later, per perhaps I can share it. Um, it's the, the the file sizes are insane though, so if you don't have a ton of file of room on your computer or whatever device you're using, I wouldn't recommend it because like some of the um, the pictures are like fucking ridiculous quality, like fucking eight thousand by six thousand or whatever. Uh, but it is a place that has like. Some cosplayer sets and stuff. I have a friend who uses like cosplay references pretty regularly. I don't know where he gets them from though. I'm gonna have to ask him if he if he pops by. Or if I see him. Oh, this is a weird face. VTubers are good at the VTuber wiki gallery. They have the refs there. Yeah, I do that too. Or sometimes if you go to Damboru, they also have um, higher quality versions of the ref sheets. Plus, if you search with the artist's name, the official designer's name, um, you'll get uh, also their their original drawings that they've done for them, which could be nice if you know sometimes they don't show like the back view in the ref sheets and stuff like that. Acting like I'm drawing some sort of line art here. Cassette dreams. Uh, creative uncut for like regular poses. I keep just like habit out of habit flipping this thing. I'm sorry if it's disorienting. For regular poses, there's Adorka stock is a good place. Um, I don't know. They they pop up on Twitter pretty frequently, so you may have seen them before. Um, but they have a free free sets on like DeviantArt and then also like custom, not custom, 
on the paid sets other places where you can you know buy more poses and stuff and they've got like single person poses couple poses fighting poses action poses stuff like that well if you want some of those like foot modeling group names i can i can give those to you as well i think i only know of two though off the top of my head it's super into ref collecting, just they're good. Especially the cosplayers, yeah. The cosplay stuff is like pretty nice. Cause then you also get to like see you know, like how details of the on oh, my arm, of like the, the outfit or the design work in like a 3D space. What is this? Stop. Shush. There. I don't know, her head seems a little big. Does it? Does it though? Well. I mean, her ears are huge. Fix this by adjusting the neck angle here. Yeah, there we go. That's a little better. This, in that ref, right, her her hand is in front of this part of the neck. But my guess is that in this position, the neck is actually a little bit curved up. It's not like straight up and down the way I had it before. Yeah, honestly, like, Gelboru, Danboru are places I go all the time. Or Pixiv, I mean, but for those two, if you don't have a Pixiv account, you can just, like, straight up download from from those, like, aggregator websites if you want, like, everything from a specific artist, or a bunch of stuff from a specific artist. Actually, sometimes they're better because they have art that is not posted on Twitter, or not, like, on Twitter anymore. Um, so if there's something that you know exists but you can't find on Pixiv, that's a good backup places. Mm. Doing all this as if, like, I'm gonna do a nice clean line art on top of it next, which I'm not going to. I'm just gonna trace over it again and it's still gonna be kinda nasty. <laughs> Need to collect, I would recommend Hydra software. Is that for like a um, for Pixiv or for something else? Because I know there is um there's like a GitHub with a Pixiv like downloader thing that that same friend who does a bunch of cosplay has a bunch of cosplay refs uses. Where you can just put in like an artist name and it'll download all the stuff they have on Pixiv like in one go. Insanely talented artist. Who, not me, not here. <laughs> Order lol, I can relate. Yeah, I got a thing on my um on my tablet here, um called for it's an Android tablet, and this is like a, I think it's a standalone app. I don't remember if it's on this Play Store or not, but it's called Boru Nav, where you can just like put the one of those like aggregator sites, and then just like search by tags, just like on your computer, and then you can also mass download there. So I've used that to like uh get stuff from artists that I I want to use as reference. As well. You know, just download like 200 images in one go. 
this. How do I feel about this? Ribcage. Um, Make it a little longer. Nope. I don't know what I'm going to do for this hand here. Ah, for the other hand. i draw it separately again. Spell it out, been trying to look for a long time. Oh, Bo yeah, Borunev. Aka got it. Um, is there a Windows of it? I don't think so. But there's, if there's not, there's probably a similar like GitHub thing, like the one for Pixiv, where you can find it and it'll just like, it'll scrape the stuff and down download as well. Um, mm, does Video Download Helper do images? I think it does actually. If you're on Firefox, uh, Video Download Helper. I mean, it has video in the name, but I think you can download all sorts of media with it. You can download like PDFs and pictures and stuff. Uh, well, the problem is that it won't, it only looks at the current page. It won't like go into like each picture and the, download like the full res version. It'll download like the, um, the thumbnail version. Here's the link to the GitHub. Oh, the links don't work in YouTube, by the way. God of Cornbread, they, they automatically get bonked. How do I feel about this? That foot still feels fun. Funky. Funky foot. Well, I'm not on the foot yet. I'm still dealing with the hand. Let's move you up a little bit. And also make you a different color so I know what I'm looking at. Is that hand too big, maybe? This hand is gonna haunt me, I can already tell. I just network. Works for Linux and Windows. Is that the Pixiv one, or...? But yeah, that, that kind of stuff is like really... Really helpful and really useful. Don't go crazy with power, I didn't have like a hundred thousand photos, Jesus. Well, I mean, you know, you would, right? If you were able to just like download as many as you wanted. <laughs>
Remember, we want to see the right side of these things. These things, the foot, that's what, that's what it is. Oh, it seems like almost all websites. Oh, sick. Could always check real blue. Oh, not blue. Okay, we're, we're getting there with this, I think. It just says awesome, just wish it did Twitter. Oh, rip. He told me for Twitter. Oh, I'm gonna have to start noting these down. <laughs> uh, how do I go up this one? Up to you see Tommy or WF downloader for Twitter. Uh. Yeah, I'll have to check these out. Or TDLP. Oh, it does YouTube too. That's sick. Nice. Jesus. The list of support <laughs> sites. I like how the first, like, four of them are, like, porn sites. Like, damn. <laughs> uh, what am I looking for? You. Okay. I'm back here. And... You're the... Okay, this is the frame. Okay. I'm starting to feel things fall into place. One might say. Uh, the shoe I'll do later. The shoe's gonna be behind her knee. See, so I don't need to... I can sketch a face in, and if I like this face enough, I'll keep it. Okay, what do her eyes look like again? It's, it's like the one thing you can't mess up. Yeah, her eyes are... Supports almost everything. Scrapes most Bugro's YouTube or Twitter, it's that nice. An absolutely shameful, respectable, or scary amount of stuff scraped. <laughs> oh man, you do you. If it works, it works, right? Like, besides, you need it for like research and stuff, right? Draw hair or anything. That head okay. It's still big, but it's probably fine. Probably. Probably. Browser history is not the scary part.
<laughs> I have a server, it's my second largest directory. Christ. Honestly, I was thinking earlier today, like, at what point, if I ever end up taking art to that point, would I need to, like, invest in, like, a, a raid server or something? For, like, files and, and, and references and stuff? Just, like, a home network thing? The top is all seasonal anime scraped automatically. Oh my god, you get like every show, every season? Insane and impressive, yeah. Might as well just like draw the hair and everything now. Uh, we'll draw hair first. I should probably rough in where the clothes are gonna go. Also, where the dress is gonna be. Ah, oh, this looks kind of weird. To be honest. Hmm. No, I think we can. I think it's fine. Stupid that boo didn't work and he thought he used to spend a lot of time trying to look for something. <laughs> oh, he put a wrong link in the first try. Well, at least you know it works now. Uh, Watch almost none of it, which is the funniest part, but with how much stuff disappears and reappears, it's easier to index it and move what you don't need. Yeah. Especially with, like, torrents and stuff, right? Because, like... Like, people will just, like, stop seeding once the season is over, and then, like, basically like, you're shit out of luck. Even, like, you know, not even one, one year out. If you want to watch a show suddenly. Unless it's a big show. Well, even then, some of the, sometimes, like, there's, like, no seeders, or not that many seeders for it. on the torrents, yeah, not enough cedars daily. Especially since Nya died in Wars. Nya's still around. 
We can still use it. I use it all the time. They just changed to, what is it? I know there was a bunch of fake ones. But I think the official one is now, like, dot .si. I think that's the official one. But yeah, like, everything else is, like, kind of just vanished. I don't even remember how I found it again. Because, like, I stopped and then... Died, like, once or twice, I thought, back on Tokyo Tosha. Oh. I don't know about that one. I will have it as a, a backup. <laughs> Access to this website has been disabled by an order of the Federal Court of Australia because it infringes or facilitate the. <laughs> oh no. Tell me, does all boys and extent and does torrents YouTube via YouTube DL? Yeah, actually, what is it? Uh, some internet providers in the U.S. also block uh, Nya and, and, and other torrent places. Because, like, when I'm here, I don't have Verizon, for example. Um, so I can still access, like, those websites if I need to. But when I'm at home, like, in, in D.C. or whatever, um, it's Verizon, and they just, like, they're like, nah, fuck it. I mean, but, you know, finding a... Finding a, a VPN to just download, like, Two episodes of anime a week is like so easy. Like, who gives a shit? You can see. You think that's gonna stop me, Verizon? Like, I will steal my my Chinese cartoons, whether you like it or not. One way or another. Now I got blocked, forgot that was what it was, yeah. What was that site for anime downloading? Yeah, like torrenting. Because, uh, like, you know, sometimes things don't get picked up, or they didn't used to get picked up by Crunchyroll. I don't know if they still don't. Um, but in any case, I just don't use Crunchyroll out of principle, so... I think I used them back in the day, like way back in the day. For a couple a couple of shows. In like 2011, 2012 or something like that. <laughs> her bow and her hair. Stop using Crunchyroll after they started censoring stuff. Me. Yeah. It's like loser shit, you know? <laughs> Let us watch the anime, whether it's like horny or not, or or whatever else. I wonder if it also wasn't due to like payment stuff again, like the the shit that's happening now. I don't know why I'm sketching this in. This is stuff the the ponytail I can sketch in later or draw in behind. Do some clothes real quick. Except for the shoe. The shoe will be later. Control is just bad, yeah. I use Kyo anime. Is that like um what is it? Uh not nine anime. But like an online one, like a website. <coughs> this is where it's gonna get we see. Well, wait. How far up the thigh are we looking? Are we talking here? Okay, we can work with that. I say spicy, but it's just like thigh squish. It's not going to be anything that special. Oh shit! I have to draw two versions of this, don't I? I'm not gonna do the squish. If I want to have like a 
version with and without the tights. Hum hum hum. Thigh squish is always special. Yeah, it is. Just do one and have it be stirrups. That's a good point. Well, I guess they're not syrup tights. Can't really tell. But I'm assuming they're not, right? Yeah, no, those are like... Well, I guess stockings. No, not stockings. These are tight. Yeah. Or... Yeah, fuck. There's so many names. They're just tights. We'll just call them tights. That's, that's what they're called now. It is uncanny, like, how similar her overall design is to Iris's. Like, I think I mentioned this before, right? Like, they have, like, the raised shoes, they have the thigh highs, they have, like, the... the, the separated sleeves. They've got, like, the exposed back, the one-piece dress. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> Pointy ears. Both about a 2.0 because of weird face. Was Flares because of a weird face, or just because she wanted... Like, uh, a different, like, feel. I thought I remembered saying that she wanted it more like a, a girlish feel, or something like that. But that was a long time ago, so I could be wrong. Like a feminine... More feminine than the, the 1.0. But yeah, they're actually soulmates. Like, fuck Beerus, it's all about flares. <laughs> gonna do the... the thigh squish can do the bottom part. <laughs> First face did change, you know, if that was the impetus. Yeah. See that part where the thigh fat is subtly pushed in by the thigh high? That's where the boner is created. <laughs> Should they even both have, like, the, the neck thing over here? It's not like a choker, but it's like a, a separated, like, neck piece. Now I'm starting to wonder, did Iris not just, like, go to Red Juice Pop and was just like, Hey, can you give me something, like, closer to, to Flair's design? Because it's, like, uncanny how, like, how many similarities there are. Okay, and this time I'm definitely not gonna, like, draw the full body underneath. I'll just, like, line art the clothes on top, except for the, the tights. Oh, uh, the shoe's gonna go in front. But we still need a general idea of where... This is... second guessing myself over like how big her head is like I know she is an anime woman but still probably gonna worry about this for like all of these <laughs> if I'm being honest oh the nice part is I don't have to really worry too much about the skirt I can just like a suggestion in here that like the skirt is like folding over the, the legs 
and maybe down here. This actually comes out way more than I thought it did. Here it currently eludes me, but I think I might, you might get it a little bit now. Nice! Your hair can be a real pain in the ass. Okay, don't use that one. Use these ones. Well, that's kind of fine. It's also funny because a lot of people are like, oh, when you're drawing hair, you know, treat it like it's ribbons. Like, think of how a ribbon moves in space. If you were to, like, try drawing that. And that's how you should think of hair when you're drawing it. And I'm like, oh, that kind of makes sense. And I've even given that advice to other people. And I think it's worked. And I don't use it myself. <laughs> like, I just... I prefer to struggle, you know? I'm just... <laughs> tearing my hair out instead of using good advice. Sometimes I try to do it and I'm like, this still looks like garbage. Why would I why would I even try? Oh, this is like a collar, I see. And there's also a ribbon in the front. Cool cool cool. Lots of details to figure out. To draw in later, towards the end. Okay. What about that relative size here? Hmm. I think it being a little smaller works out. We're in an almost good place here. face right yeah I should be like labeling stuff I should do what like other artists do and actually have like a, a standard thing for when I draw <laughs> make this layers the clothes this layers the face this layers whatever else
Remember, since we're looking a little bit from below, our mouth can be up just a tad bit more. I don't know. How do we feel about that expression? Her eyes are weird. They're weird, but how are they weird? Well, this one, I think, is the weird one. <coughs> hmm. uh, does anyone know? Of an artist specializing in characters about to be nude, like undressing. Uh, Yomu? Yeah, definitely. You know, I was incredibly good at that. I have. <laughs> they actually. They're the artists I have open on my uh, my tablet right now for reference. That I usually have open, actually. Mm, who else could be good? The yum yum? Yes. Yum yum. Oh, I almost spilled this all over myself. And yeah, you can always look up. Fuck! <laughs> My bottle cap, but yeah, you can always like look for, um... Search for tags and stuff. Um, but yeah, yum is extremely good. They're extremely good at like... Somehow making what seem like boring pinup poses like exciting all the time, especially in the older stuff. Like, since now they're working on like um, that manga, uh, they don't do it much anymore, which is a little sad. But it's still extremely good reference. What the fuck is wrong with this eye? What about it is bothering me? Okay, yeah, that. It was just too low. Uh... Now we're getting somewhere. another look at this reference just to see these special undressing tags you could try to search for oh that's nice I didn't even know that they get that specific but yeah sometimes tags are, are weirdly specific because like one person you know wants that specific thing Okay, I think at this point, I'm mainly looking at like the clothes, making sure the clothing lines and stuff make sense. Because this can be lower. It just needs to be in line with her actual chest. Or torso. Also remember that gravity is this way. Because this is a tilted view.
not really going to see much of this part, but might as well indicate that it's here. And this like window here follows the same kind of line. And then there's this cross. So we can show a little bit of the, the booba underneath. A hint. Yeah. <laughs> the boba. Okay. Sleeves, huh? Okay. What I'm probably going to do... For the clothes. For the sleeve, that big sleeve in front, I think what I'm going to do is draw it afterwards. So I'll draw the lines for her body and her arm as if there's nothing on it. And then I'll draw it on top because I feel like it's going to be less of a pain in the butt that way. And then trying to make sure the lines look perfect to begin with. Should I? Should I do that though? Is that the play? Yeah, some are subtle and crossover, commonly mistagged. Yeah, because sometimes there's like tags that are supposed to be the same thing, but they haven't like gotten rid of the old one. And there's only like three pictures under the old one for some reason. Like there's a specific one that always gets me. Is like when you have multiple people, if like multiple girls or multiple boys, if you want like one boy, one girl or something, one of the tags has the number and the other has the word, and one of them is wrong, and I always get it mixed up. Which is super weird, because every time someone complains about like, oh, this is mistagged, they're like, you can just do it yourself. And you think for like, a super common tag like that, people would do it. They would fix it. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to mask any of that shit. Okay, yeah, how do we feel about this? I think it's in a decent spot. I haven't drawn the shoe, but... Let me draw that shoe in while I'm here. So I don't forget. Looking on Asuna from Blue Archive, wearing an oversized shirt and shirt tug and shirt blur crossed over a lot. Yeah. The fact specific they can get? Yeah, some of, some of them are crazy. Shoe? Godlike? Thank you. Oops. I assure you, there, there are actual gods out there, though. But... Are you, like... Auto saving right now, Clip Studio. Oh no! Did something happen? Oh, you just didn't want to to work for five seconds. That's cool. That's cool too. Ooh, she has gloves too. That's gonna be fun. Maybe a 
bit of the inside. Maybe think about that. Ooh, that's a little annoying. These are like almost tangent lines right here. Uh, right foot, so... Make this part come back a little bit. Seems arbitrary sometimes to find you once you find a niche, it's important to somehow sort by popularity. I think there's some sort of in all of them, there's some kind of ranking system, but I don't know how it works or if you can sort by it because there's like for whatever reason you can like vote on those websites, but like God knows what that means. I'll just grab that and refine it a bit with the line art. Popularity description. Yeah. I think we're in a good spot here. Uh, there's all these tiny little details like ribbons and etc. That you're not really going to see. Because like the shoe is in the way or her leg is in the way. You're not going to see much of the skirt. So that's fine with me because there's lots of detail on there. Anyway, <laughs> I think we're ready for line art, probably. Quote unquote line art. Anyway, let's do it. So let's uh, go for it and see how this plays out. Well, let's keep this guy on as well, in case we need some extra guidelines. What are you? You're nothing. Okay, good. Through multiply. Yeah, we'll do it like this. Okay. So for these, I'm probably... Well, I don't know if all of them... But... What's this? Oh. But my my approach that I've been using recently, which I'm also kind of figuring out, is... What is it? Lines, shadows... Sorry, lines, base colors, shadows, and grayscale. And then just adjusting the shadow color on top. Uh, which... The shadows and grayscale part is a little bit tough because I'm not used to doing it that way. I usually just shadow directly with like multiply color layer or color on a multiply layer. So I'm trying to figure out what's like the good uh, choice of, of like gray color to use when doing the shadows. 
Uh, and so we might take a little bit more time figuring that stuff out. But uh, that's that's gonna be the ride. It's gonna be what we're dealing with. 17, 20, tw let's go with 12. Need an upgraded account. Oh yeah, for Dombo, for certain things, you need an upgraded account, which is a little annoying. It'll be like you can only search with like two tags at a time or something. Oh, this is weird. I might have to change the size of that thing or move her shoulder in. Dombo better than Dombo. Yeah, Dombo like for some things I think is nice. Uh, but Gilboard is like pretty all encompassing. And also, you don't have to like create a, a premium account or whatever to do certain things. It's honestly silly. It's like you're, you're already like taking these pictures from somewhere else. Like, do you want me to have to pay further to, like, look at these pictures that are otherwise freely available? Like, really? Should zoom out for this. I shouldn't be. Well, in Gil, yeah, I think in Gilbert you can search with like unlimited tags and stuff. Pretty sick. Oh, so this basically this is the right. Okay. Gonna do about this hand. Should have decided that before. I'm stupid.
Shouldn't be so bothered by these details on the hands. I'm just going to paint over them later anyway. Might have stolen the cookies and toast topics. Oh no, you need to do some meditation to get it out of your system. <laughs> Cancel me for making stupid plans like that. To separate text, it's not conversational, but Google is kind of lame now. Yeah, fucking Google, man. It's wild how, like, worthless Google is. At least nowadays. Like, unless you went to school, like, up until, I don't know, 20... Yeah, if you like, if you were like in high school up until like 20, I don't know, 18, maybe you can still make Google work, but like otherwise it's like fucking complete trash. Like you don't have the, the web knowledge, the same amount of like web knowledge forged in the fires of, of the internet to like get good information from Google anymore. It's a dead internet theory? Yeah, because like, yeah, I mean, like, do any Google search, right? And then you get all these stupid websites that are just SEO optimized. And it's like, how do I do this thing? And then it'd be like, this thing is one of the most, you know, fun activities you can possibly do. Here is the history of this thing, a brief history. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Like, complete AI slot. <laughs> Can't use the image source anymore. Yeah, dude, sucks. And have to rely on ChatGPT for searching? Hell no. Fuck that. ChatGPT is even worse. Because at least for the SEO stuff, like sometimes people like write that stuff. If like no, the majority of the time they don't, but sometimes they do. So they might a little like have a little bit of knowledge. But GPT's knowledge just comes from like being like Oh, this word is, you know, in this context, close to this word. So we'll put them together, and that sounds like a sentence. Like... Or whatever. Well, I guess you said pictures, but whatever. <laughs> you go to the library, yeah. Let's use Copilot for Google Search Alt. Copilot. I don't think I've heard of that. Is it worth it? Like, is it 
significantly better. Uh, I'm going to change the size of this toe. In theory, that's how humans learn language, too. Yeah, but I mean, it's not like, like when we learn language, we're not learning just like word association by itself, right? It's going to be the foot. Um, you know, you're not just like, just like when you're a kid, like your mom will like point at a tree and be like, tree, and you'll be like, tree, and then you'll be like, tree, and then one day you'll say tree. But you're like when as you learn you're getting the context that you that word means something specific. Not just that it's related to another word in like a sentence, right? Which is all that GBT is doing. It's saying like, oh you know, this is the word that I'm considering. What's its relevance to the all these other words in a sentence? And if you want me to make a new sentence, I'll build it based on my knowledge of that. There's nothing deeper, it's just like how close are words to each other. <laughs> so Copilot has just built an AI on Edge, a very powerful AI. Oh, it's in Edge? I don't like using Edge. Edge is like Chromium based. So, like, welcome. If I can help it, I will not use a Chromium based browser uh, at all. Miss being able to look up stuff and seeing people's blogs. Oh, uh, yeah. And blogs were cool, huh? Like, people's, like, individual website and stuff? Like, that stuff was nice. Can't believe, like, we managed to ruin the internet within, like, five years. <laughs> A span of five years. Oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna... Oval and, like, square and, and shit. This... These toes. Should we though? Should we just? So we're here for having a good time. <laughs> also remember, ask Jeeves and Alta Vista, dude. Ask Jeeves, man. It's crazy. They rebranded or something, right? They're not like, or are they completely dead? Maybe they are. Ask Jeeves Google search. Ask Jeeves.net. Oh, it's ask.com. Ah, what browser do you use? I use uh, Firefox. I've been using it for. Well, I've, I've flipped back and forth between Firefox and, and uh, Chrome, depending on, uh, on if certain things work in one or the other. But Chrome is like such a memory hound, memory hog. Felt like I was like, you know, I I want to have more than like five tabs open, like please. Why am I looking over there? We're gonna try and decipher this foot here as best we can from this blurry, unfocused camera. Firefox are brave for me. Ye. Also, Firefox is nice because you can do like the tree style tabs on the left hand side or whatever. Like you can do the the CSS customization. And that stuff is really cool. Like, I've got my tree tabs on the left-hand side, so, like, if this is the window, like, over here are my tabs, and then here's, like, me looking at anime. But then I also set it up so that if my mouse is not hovering over here, this part retracts to the left, so that it's just, like, a tiny little uh, space over there. So it's, like, dynamic and context-sensitive. Oops. It's nice. And there's also a nice little thing where, like, um, if there's audio playing in a tab, like, there's a, a little animation so that it tells you that that's the tab that the audio is coming from. What am I doing? Oh, right, the foot. 
Gert Gat. I don't see any Gats here, but <laughs> what's up? How you doing, Wobesti? Firefox and Vivaldi. Yeah, nice. <laughs> the right foot creep. <laughs> what, like the, the Lonely Island song? <laughs> oh no, that's just the creep. What do I say? Chrome has extensions. You can't get an FF like Red Blocker for Twitter. Uh, yeah, it's a shame that there's not always extensions on, on all versions of browsers, but you know, what are you going to do? You gotta wait, or develop them yourself. Uh, foot. Is this too big for a pinky toe? Possibly. Lady's feet are pretty, or the toes are pretty slender. That's one thing I need to get good at, is like drawing skinnier toes. Like, I don't, I don't really know how to do it. Simply put, I must draw more feet. Realist browsers are text only, like links from Melancello. Disregard HTML, return to ASCII. That's what I'm saying. You gotta go back all the way. Not even that. Just like, don't even use a modern machine. Just like, use like one of those, like the fucking chassis from like 1993 or whatever. There's a guy at the University of Maryland, one of the, um, the profs. Like, I don't know if he's still a CS prof there. Um, but I talked to him for some research stuff a long time ago. And this was in like 2014, 2013. And his PC was like straight up a, like a 1992, like big box, like CRT monitor. And I looked at like, you know, what he was using on it. And he was like, oh yeah, let me like check my email or whatever. And that shit was like basically ASCII. Like, <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, that's how you know he was probably like a, an insane, insanely good guy, like researcher. Actually, speaking of ASCII, <laughs> weirdly enough, uh, let me make these smaller. <clears throat> I'm wondering if I ever end up doing more game streams, slash if I have more time to play certain games. Um, if you're interested in, in watching this kind of stuff, uh, maybe I would do a, I guess, a long series of, what is it? Heard that guy was still there when I went. Oh, really? Shit. Wait, when was that? Also, I can't remember his name. Was it Ga- Ga- Gasserk? Will- William Gasserk or something like that? I don't remember his name. Um, but yeah, in terms of that- the thing, um... Maybe it'll be fun. I don't know about fun. Or even interesting. But... <laughs> I haven't played Cataclysm in a long while. It might be fun to do like a, a long play stream kind of thing with that. Uh, because it's an- I, I think it's an interesting game. And it's like a kind of emergent storytelling game. Uh, and the fun part is we could name the- or, or Zombie Survivor Man. 
after one of you guys. And hopefully they won't die. <laughs> Fuck, how is this lady's- how are the- your toes so fucking small, what the fuck? You play Tower of Trample, is that a foot game, perchance? You know, it's probably the fact that the camera is unfocused that's like making it hard for me to, to get a good grasp on... on the size of those toes. Yeah, that's probably what it is. from the top, shorter from the bottom, so... Whatever, we'll make this work somehow. Two are gonna be kind of like smushed into each other, I think. That looks like a foot to me. I think. Yeah. That's that's a foot. Should make. Oops. These parts a little bit skinnier. I really should do foot review. Okay, so whenever I end up deciding to do that, like foot thing, the, the foot tutorial or whatever, anatomy review thing, maybe I'll stream some of it. So not only will there be a timestamp, uh, but there'll be like a VOD record so I can just grab the live drawing VOD to like use and edit. I wonder if in OBS you can stream and then like record. No, you can record locally. Oh, but that's not what I want. If you can stream and then locally record like a single window, so I can just... What the fuck? Oh. So I can... Only output Clip Studio to the local file, um, but then like you know, still stream. I think it used to be possible. There's, there, there's like something you can do to do it, but I don't know what it is. That's the wrong layer. Bondi. Heard the HDD clunking. For? My brother in Christ, I thought you said foot reveal and was gonna say please don't. No. I wouldn't... unless... Your foot and body... Yeah, okay, I gotta do this separately. see that, you're not going to see that. Body, foot, what is this? This is nothing. I'll make this the face. Let's do the face right now. Okay. 
Unless... The foot reveal waiting room. Yeah, instead of like a VTuber debut, it's gonna be a foot debut. <laughs> Oops. off again about these lashes. Probably just that. Mm. Maybe this comes down a little more aggressively than I thought it did. This ends a little bit sooner. that this process is a little bit longer than usual because I usually again don't do a a cleaner sketch but since that first sketch was kind of wild and took a while I just wanted to make sure everything was looking good before moving on to the lines stuff okay irises face body Gotta draw the ears.
What is one of these? Why do you look weird? Anyway, it's probably fine. It's probably not a big deal, whatever it is I'm potentially worried about. This is going better than I thought, honestly. Like, it's not, you know, a one-to-one -one of the, the reference here, but it looks alright. I'm probably going to keep tweaking that foot for a little bit until I feel, like, happy with it. And also this hand. I don't even know what's going on with this hand holding the shoe. But we're in, uh, we're in a decent position, I think. Hide that for a second. And bring the clothes back. <coughs> Who is there? Oh, nice. Okay, you're not even going to see that part there. Just... Cool. Cool, cool, cool. More looking at the outfit. is right over left. The hair. God, the hair is going to take a little bit. Do you by any chance know the art piece of that cat girl with the cookies and cream cookie between her toes? Maybe? Uh, I'm not sure. You don't happen to know the character. Oh, oh shit, I didn't see this. New fauna art already, unless someone already posted it. They did not. I will post it. Let's go. Link to the apps. Hey, okay, there we go. Sorry, I didn't check the messages on Twitter for, for like an hour. Um... How was I saying? Oh, cookies and cream. What am I? Wow. I just like opened the timeline and it's just full of like peak art right now. Jesus. Um. How's this? Yeah, you wouldn't happen to know which character that is. A Shinshin. Cookie. Oh shit, someone uploaded uh, Mua. That's cool. Oh, wait, this one? Is it this one? <clears throat> Is it an Oreo? Perchance? It was on my mind since I was talking about cookies. <laughs> you know what? These are these are not bad proposals. I, I could maybe do something like this one day. <laughs> think so. It looks like they're an Arknights character. I don't know much about Arknights or, or gacha games in general. Okay, well that's not true. I know a little bit about uh, Blue Archive. <laughs> but that's it. Pog.
Let's figure out these hands. Actually, let's figure out the hand down there first. Shoe, face, body. I don't know what this hand is doing. What are you? What even are you? Because in the reference, she's like, I guess her hand is on the edge of a seat or something. Like she's holding a edge of a stool and then there's like a, a marker or something in her hand. We could make it something similar. Makes sense. She's sitting on an object. He's not just going to be floating in the air. Right. How do we draw it on that layer? Line it. Glad you saved your soul from Gotcha. Yeah, I don't. The only gotcha I think I mentioned before I almost got into was the Sinnoh Alice. Uh, but I didn't even pay for anything. I was just, you know, doing the, the stuff and getting the free pulls and whatnot. Only gotcha I would willingly do is like real life gotcha machines to get like cool exclusive anime merch. Or the one in Maple Story to try and get uh, cool items or cool scrolls. I think the pose she's kind of looking down at the camera. Yeah, I think it's that one then. That's like an Arcanite's character. I mean, to be fair, it does seem like Arcanite's story is like pretty good from what I've heard. I do have a friend who kind of got into it. Uh, a little bit. Also, some of the characters are really cute, like Golden Glow. Oh, Golden Glow is so adorable. Which, to be fair, I only know because I know the artist <laughs> through Golden Glow. And they're like, look at my daughter, look at my child. Those knuckles, elf knuckles. What are we gonna do here? Got into a gotcha, somehow got very lucky pulls, felt bored after getting all the characters you wanted. Yeah, I mean, if the, if the story's like not really that good, I feel like that's probably how it's gonna go. Or if you're, like, not invested into the series or anything. Because, like, if you're into Fate, right, then I'm sure, like, the, the Fate Go story and stuff will keep you hooked or whatever. Like, even with, like, Suno Alice, you know, it's like, yeah, it's like Kyoko Taro and stuff, but, like... I don't know. It, it, it The pull wasn't enough, you know, to, like, get me past the point where I was like, oh, yeah, you can only do so much per day, and, like, this gameplay loop was actually kind of boring. I don't even, like, play near Reincarnation. I think I played, like, five seconds of, of it. And I was like, mm. I'll just, like, Google the story later <laughs> instead. And the artist's name is Ice Cake. He Googled Oreo between two as Arknights. Nice. Got into Azure Lane, Genshin, and Arknights are too far gone. Rip. BA looks good, but you haven't gotten to it yet. Yeah, I mean, personally, I'm only interested in the character design so far, which are like, to be fair, extremely good. Let's make this bigger. A wider thumb. It's always really funny that you don't even have to play, like, gotcha to know when a new character is released, because, like, every artist you follow 
will suddenly be drawing a uh, fan art of them. <laughs> Are you interested in the designs or <laughs> interested in the designs? I mean both. They're good for both reasons, right? Like, they obviously are effective, um, you know, for the intended audience, I'll say. But they're all just, like, good designs. Like, you know, um, what is it? Independent of the fact that they are cool. Like, you can, I mean, I guess the Halo thing helps. But, like, they have such, like, distinct, like, design language, right? They, like, I feel like you can't help but be like, this is, you know, interested in it. Even if it's, like, something as simple as, like, Alona or, like, Plana, right? Like, like at an instant, not even a glance, like, instantly you know, like, which character it is by, like, the silhouette and stuff. What the fuck is happening here? Right, okay. Oh. Oops. And like, you know, what's more is that like those- the, the elements used in their designs, right, are like not even totally unique. Like big ribbons and stuff like that, school uniforms. Um, but they're still visually distinct. Look, I should study how they- they do character designs, it's probably a good good thing to do. Hand A, here's hand B. Buddy. Buddy. desperately need. I should probably connect some of these lines. So they're less lonely. I'm gonna have to figure out this shoulder. <clears throat> and that hand still. That's gonna bother me until I really figure it out. Oh, and the hair. Oh god, the hair. A miniature wrist... Blah, wrist stretch. I feel like that's a tongue twister. Wrist stretch. Wrist stretch. Wrist stretch. Wrist stretch. Wrist stretch. Wrist stretch. Anyway, I'm doing like miniature wrist stretches every once in a while. Uh, just in case to make sure they don't get too, too fucked up. I think... We don't need the ankle bone here. We'll just go like this and then add it or like render it out later. <clears throat> yep. I'm stretching my miniature wrists. <laughs> miniature wrist stretch. Right, how are we going to do with this? And that hand feels weak. 
compared to the other one, compared to the rest of this, this line art. Maybe I draw the shoe first. I gotta do some more shoe practice. God, but there's such a pain to draw. Oh, you know what I could do? I do have a a stream and some notes where I did shoes, where I did study shoes uh, a few months back. I'd probably turn that into something useful. Well, I don't know about something useful, but it's useful for me. It was, so far. I can follow this line through. At least about, like, how to start approaching shoes, I think. Actually, what I could do also is, like, just post stuff in the Discord. If that's, like, already done. In front of body. Oh, but this is going to be in front of the. Hmm. I see. Going to have to be separate then, like the uh, the face. Cool. I draw on top, and then on top. do some notes so I don't forget what I'm about gonna do like next time or whenever quick save cool so what I want to do is choose okay base shoe base mm. And then you sh No, base. I think I gotta do sh yeah, I gotta do the shoe later with the sleeve. Okay. Face over paint and then shoot the sleeve on top of that. Oh, well, it's got to be sleeve and then shoe, because otherwise the shoe will be. <clears throat> okay. Where the hell are we? Shoe, face, hair. I really don't want to do the hair. Foot, body. This is whatever. That outside we could fill later. Oh, my God, the eyebrows. Never heard of an elf without eyebrows, right? Figure out something with these. I guess we gotta do the hair. Mm. Feels like it's not gonna help at all that I did 
do a draft of the hair earlier over here. Also, what I probably should do uh, is not do this on a normal layer. We'll do it on a vector layer and then rasterize it and then yeah, convert to multiply. Yeah. Wait, can this be multiply? It can be. Oh shit. No, do it in normal. Even lower transparency. Hair. Oh my god. I just made a new normal layer again. And again! Oh my god, I'm actually stupid. Hair. And then I drew it on the wrong layer. I drew the first line on the wrong layer. Okay, this is the swap. Okay, what does his hair look like, actually? Oh god, I'm shrimping. I can't be shrimping.
pros of fan art is that you're drawing something or someone you like, but then the cons are that you have to be like kind of meticulous about the original design and the, the features that really make it look like them, which I did not do here. <laughs> Fix these. Okay, let's see. Um, it's a little better, but he could, in fact, be shrimping. I mean, anyone could be shrimping. You could be shrimping right now. about this not terribly great but we'll manage where's that line coming from oh god okay this line is coming from here maybe we need to push this out a little more <laughs> I'm not <laughs> I ask a VTuber for a foot pick that I can use for reference material, is that okay? Mm, like, of their model? If they have, like, their model publicly available somewhere... ...then I wouldn't, <laughs> probably. Like, I mean, asking for, like, stuff like that... ...is still weird enough that I wouldn't do it. For both? Definitely not. Not for, <laughs> not for IRL. Unless they've, like... They've publicly oops, posted it before or something, like, um, has Yuria done it? I don't remember if Yuria has done it or not, but some some of them have, um, and you can just, like, look on their, their Twitter or whatever, um, but otherwise I would not. Base Connect fans, oh, true, yeah, that's, yeah. Like, if you want a serious thing, like, you actually want one, like, you're probably not gonna get it, unless they just have already done it themselves. Um, but for their model, you know, if like the pictures of the, the reference images are available, you can always just go there. And if the, the feet aren't visible, I mean, my guess is, you know, just for like toenail or nail polish and stuff like that is just like whatever color their finger nail polish is, go with that. That's my advice. <laughs> I feel like Yuri has, has posted her foot pics, for better or for worse. Probably for worse. But that is kind of part of her brand, so... I forgot, I can't push... liquefy this. Can I...? Let's go with that. I think that's kind of alright. Yeah, because like most VTubers are, you know, trying to remain semi-anonymous. So I imagine posting a, a, a real-life foot pic would kind of go against that goal. You're not likely to, to get many that would say yes. Does this look like flare? 
Not particularly, huh? Hum, 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 hum. I mean, the face does, I guess, but everything else is a little bit. There have been a few that have posted some real feet. Yeah, a couple. Also, hello, Ayane, what's up? How have you been? That are framing the face. Framing the face. Framing the face. <laughs> tired. Uh, I'm sorry. Hopefully, you're getting some rest this weekend, or are you tired because of Saturday so far? with this line art. It's in general, some of it some of it you think is due to the terrible sleeping schedule. I hear that. <laughs> I feel you. I feel like I've been in a similar boat the past week. Uh, but it was worth it for Fifth fest, so I have no right to complain. Okay, this part. I seem like so humongous on the, the thing over here. Like the mini thumbnail image. Do they need to be smaller? They might need to be smaller. Oh man, you're not even going to be able to see most of this here. to mess this up as best as possible. Oh, 
this, it looks like it goes back this way. This looks vaguely like her. Uh -huh, what car do you drive? I don't. I don't own a car, actually. I was lucky enough to find a place, um, despite the lack of options when I moved here first, that's close enough for me to walk to school. And to walk to get groceries if I need to. It's, like, perfectly, like, in the middle of everything I need to get to. Um, so I don't have a car. Yeah. I also didn't have money for a car <laughs> when I moved here. So that was, like, a big, big thing. Because, like, the public transit where I live is not spectacular either. Like, you have to live in, like, you know, a handful of, of lucky places where there's a bus stop within reach. And, you know, if you live, like, outside of a certain radius from the, the university here, it's like, well, get fucked, actually. You're gonna have to walk for, like, a half an hour, 45 minutes to get to a bus stop. Left side, or her right side here seems shorter than the other side here. These are the words that I'm trying to get through my mouth right now. I was considering at some point, like, getting a bike or, like, a used car or something. Uh, but then COVID happened, so I didn't... <laughs> I didn't have the need, you know? Ooh, maybe that doesn't... That doesn't look as good. Because at that point I was like three? No. Yeah, just about three years in. So I was like, you know, that's the point where I will probably have enough money slash enough need for a car, but nope! But, yeah, depending on what I do slash where I go next, I might have to consider consider my options more seriously. <clears throat> kind of got lucky with the car, but your Arthur R33 for 8k in 2018. Nice. You have no choice in Australia without a car. You are stuck. Yeah. I mean, it definitely seems that way. Like, it's a big place. And also, I just I don't know. It has the air of like you need a car, kind of like the US. <laughs> Point and maybe I'll have to look more at how Lack draws her, because let me hear from the other side. This is weird. This is weird and not right. Close enough though, I think.
still not satisfied with this bit. Oh god, this is a mess. <laughs> Getting there, I think. Just got these hair things over here too. Shit! I forgot. Hope when you do get a car, you wrap it up in the <laughs> one of the hollow feet art pieces. I don't know about that. I feel like they're not good enough to justify putting on a car. Kind of lucked out here since my need for a car isn't really necessary for the job. Nice. Now, if you need to go downtown, you need to hit up a friend or use an Uber. Yeah. Free public transport here, so that's another pl- Are you serious? You have free public transport where you are? Man, what the fuck? <laughs> that's not fair. How much you want is perfect? Oh, Hachima, yeah. I don't know, it's kind of huge. If I wanted my entire car to be, like, wrapped in a chair, then maybe. Uh, those things go in front of your ears also. Nice. Gravity's this way. <clears throat> yeah, not fair. Yeah, public- free public transit is insane. <laughs> like, almost, almost. Like, having it be free would almost offset it if it was like bad public transit like we have in the US like just like shitty and unmaintained almost I get the feeling that I'm gonna have a, a bad time with this hair so I'm probably not gonna merge it and just do it separately it's always like this it's always like this only transport here is the train to head downtown but that's super early and late in the evening like there's only like early and late trains for it that sounds horrendous like one train each way per day it's a job perk for working for transport is it oh okay that makes sense that's still like an insane job perk though Honestly, I would kill if we had even public transport like half as good as Japan's. It's like... <sighs> so I remember coming back from the first time and just being like, wow. It fucking sucks in the US. Our problem is just that we're like too far apart from each other. This country is too big. We need things that are closer. This is an awkward angle for this hair to be at, actually. I 
Like, nothing is walkable, really. Well, I mean, some of it is, but, like... Things are too far away to, like, justify building rail. Actually, I saw the other day that there was, like, a petition or something. Not a petition, but there's, like, a plan that the government is looking into to build, like, rail between more of the Midwest cities and stuff. Which is, like, awesome. Like, they definitely should do that. Why don't they have that? Desperately want high-speed rail across the country. Yeah, so part of this plan is, like, to upgrade Amtrak service so that there's, like, routes between, like, fucking Arkansas and, you know, Texas, for example, because there's nothing there currently. Even just on the East Coast. Yeah, East Coast is, like, okay, comparatively, but, like, it could be way better. Also pretty new, especially out west. Yeah, not a lot of connectors from the PNWL sort. Yeah, it's, like... West Coast and that's it, right? Like, you can't go from, like, PNW... Maybe you can go to, like, Idaho or something, but... <laughs> Anywhere past Chicago is impossible, yeah. I think their plan is to do stops in, like... Or stuff in, like, Arkansas, Tennessee, maybe? Minnesota? No, not Minnesota, Missouri? Maybe? And some... a couple places in, like, the northern states, but basically to, like, bridge some of those gaps. So that people who are like, you know, are traveling long term, or long distances in the Midwest, don't have to get fucked by driving constantly. Get to Ohio, Illinois, and the East Coast and nowhere else. Yeah, because they built those railroads like a hundred years ago, and they were like, when they were good. But then like didn't, or, you know, more than a hundred years ago, but then didn't build them anywhere else. I'm supposed to have a monorail in your area, really? I could connect to northern states and some western ones, but the plan was killed when the mayor was ousted. Boo! Kinda sad since it was a great idea and gonna be cost effective for the city. Yeah man, like, people have a good idea and then it just gets like, dumpstered. Like, for whatever reason. Alright, futon. What does the back of your hair look like? To draw the hair separately is the thing. Like even like DC, like the metro in DC is like not the best, but it's still like pretty damn good. <clears throat> but then you go to a place like LA and like comparatively their metro is a fucking mess. Tiny ass trains, like I guess the, how the regularity of when they come is not the worst, but... The trains are like ancient, and they're tiny, they're not upkept. Same with the stations, they're like ancient. They're like garbage tier. How much would it cost to buy an apartment in my area? Depends. Um, but you can probably get... Like mine is a one bedroom. Um, but it's like eight, I'm paying like 850 right now for it. Um, honestly for a lot more space than I need. So maybe I'm just an outlier here. But since it's like a, it's really a college town. There's like not much else here besides university. Uh, and like a couple manufacturers, big manufacturers, and that's it. Um, 850k. Oh yeah, 850 not 850k, like 850 per month, is what I mean. Um, which for you know a one a one bedroom is like pretty fucking good, I feel like. But then again, this is this is kind of like an out of the way place, right? So like, what the fuck am I doing? Oh, this is the hard. Uh, so like you know, prices here are probably way different than they would be like anywhere else. 1300 for a one LG studio here. Yeah, damn. It's fucked up. Some of the studios here are that much, right? Like, because it's a developing place and because the school is still trying to, like, grow even further, they're trying to, like, attract people. So there's lots of development since I got here. And, like, some of the prices on, like, the studio's apartments are, like, insane. Like, it doesn't make sense to buy them, honestly. Only because, on the, I guess the only people that would live in there are like students, you know, who are like legacy students and stuff like that. 
they have like family money that they can use to to you know pay the rent and whatever like otherwise no way like, if i hadn't found this place i would either be living in like an absolute garbage dump or i'd have like a, a, a roommate that I, like i know nothing about And I'm too socially inept to just, like, move in with, like, a total rando for, you know, potentially multiple years. Like, fuck that. I guess these lines are fine for now. Figure the rest out later. We'll draw the ponytail on the back. <laughs> Total for apartment? Oh, I don't know. I don't think... I don't think the landlord plans is on, like, selling this one. Um, because it's, it's not like, um... What's it called? Like a con it's not like a condo or anything like that. This is, like, um... Part of a house that he re refurbished, he bought and like refurbished into multiple apartments instead of being like a a huge one family house. So like, you know, in the house he split up, split them up into like separate units, basically. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe I should ask if he's ever intending to to sell units or whatever. My guess is no. <laughs> I, mean, I should do some research and see if there's any what the average would be to like buy something like this around here. Uh, I would erase, you know, I'll just mask to see what it looks like without the ears. Oh yeah, we're not even gonna see that shit because you got the that bit. Yeah, I did get super lucky to find this place, though. Because, like, the... It was not at all, like, renting season when I started looking. Like, I was, like, three months late to renting season. I don't remember if the guy, like, walked out in the middle of the lease or something, but... The guy before me. But it worked for me. Okay, we gotta do that hand. Okay, and we gotta do parts of the body. Yeah, a little bit of the, the clothing in here. Even though we're gonna put the sleeve on top. I don't know what I say. We're a bit over there, but it's basically just the, the chest. Let's look at this uh, reference once more, because if... The plan has been changed. We're going to draw this hair just like right, right down. Right in there. Actually, that is how it's supposed to be, though. So. And then it's gonna get blocked by the... the sleeve anyway, but... Good to have it here. Okay, so that's good, I think. The sleeve, the shoe, whatever else is over here. Nice. 
I bought an RV in 2020 and the plan is to move into it in a year or so. Cool. If I move to TN, I'll save enough on income tax to more than cover putting it in a trailer park than save for a house. Hey, sick. That's nice. You have any idea where in Tennessee you're planning on, on going? Or you're just kind of... That's the plan for now, just to, to move over there. <clears throat> yeah, that stuff is going in the back for sure. Probably Chattanooga, I have a friend there. Hey, nice! Yeah, Chattanooga seems really nice. Plus they have municipal internet. So like... I mean, that's why I'm interested in it. But it is really pretty, like, driving through it. Like, the... Even if you're just driving past on the highway, like, the scenic views of the river and stuff. It's awesome. <laughs> Love the mountains so much. Yeah, it's really... It's right there, right? Like, right at the end of, um... Appalachians, isn't it? Or am I wrong? It would be nice to, like, visit in the fall. Because, like, I only came down... I came down there in, like, the spring... Or not the spring, the summer. So, it looked nice, but I didn't get to really see... You know, what it would have looked like at, like, peak... Peak travel time. Or peak, I guess, visual time? If that's a word. Uh, how do I feel about that knee? That's okay. Uh, the hand, the hand, the hand, the hand. How are we going to do this? I feel like it maybe makes more sense. The hand would be more like this. Block. Block. Where the hell is the end of this shoe? It's on the Tennessee River. Yeah, it's cool. Some of them used to live in Chattanooga, it's more of a tourist city than anything. The best feature is the EPV fiber internet since it's like the best in the country, but you didn't really like living there. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, personal things as well, right? I mean, tourist city is kind of... I don't know. But so you're saying there's like not a ton of like great stuff there. Slash, it's in the south, so you have to, like, you know, live in the south. Fuck, oh, right. I didn't even draw the... Am I stupid? That was a rhetorical question because I am stupid. <laughs> I didn't draw... I didn't draw this. Or this, the inner... Or the insole, what the fuck? How could I forget? consider flatmates it's decently fun saves you money if i know them yeah like to a certain degree yeah it's like i mean i and, and for better or for worse probably for worse i don't actually talk to that many people like in my department here um yeah i don't know i just like don't have that much in common with with them for for lack of a better word they're just uh they're kind of normies 
there might be like one or two people that are like, you know, into like memes. But that's about it. Um, but yeah, I'd have to find people. Yeah, if I knew, if I knew someone, I'm like, for sure. Like, if any of my friends from, like, college are around here, then yeah, definitely. Because, like, I know them decently well and have lived with some of them long enough. Like, roommates and stuff that we don't, like, totally hate each other. Originally was going to move to New Hampshire, but mom's family's from Boston, and she basically said, I'm never coming over if my cousin's going to come over, too. Oof. Uh, mm, what have I done? Oops. What have I done with this shoe? Hmm? What have I done? And why does it look so weird? What's this? And also this. Wider on the outside. Why is this a normal layer? I want to multiply. It's like acceptable. I think it's kind of acceptable. Uh, there's like ribbons on it and stuff, but that again comes later. Knees in front. These hands. The shoe is like oriented, doesn't work with that kind of finger. I love problem solving. I love drawing hands so much. Ha ha ha. I love erasing and redrawing and erasing and redrawing. It's fine when it's feet, but when it's hands, it's just like, oh my god, I'm like, ugh. You know? <laughs> How the hell is this gonna work? I don't have a hand reference for this. Um, which is unsurprising. I didn't think I was going to need one.
Okay, so yeah, first things first is probably that pinky's too large. Let's fix that. Or at least fix the angle that you're pointing at. If it's like fingers are more Oops, zoomed out too far. Maybe... I don't know how I feel about that hand. I feel like at this angle it's just a little weird. Like, it feels almost like you're looking at too much fingers. Back to it. I hate having to come back to it, having to come back to things. It is too much fingers. So I'll just... Okay, yeah, the, the hand is just kind of a crappy angle here. So. Get rid of these. And then adjust the angle of the hand. Hello? Okay. I hope I haven't been drawing too much uh, so that the time lapse is taking up a crap ton of memory again. That guy. Pinky finger's okay. Needs to be a more extreme angle to the front of the hand.
It doesn't really change anything, though. We ever work on holograms? <laughs> uh, I don't know. If I ever get like good enough at drawing them from like crazy angles, maybe. You're like in crazy positions, I should say, not angles. Like I said, I do think they're like a little bit easier than feet, but they're still hard. That surprise. Uh, that said, I'm surprised no one has done it. Something similar already, because there are a couple members with like, uh, have gloves as defining features, and they would be like perfect for that kind of thing. Oh, I'm mega stupid. Who got gloves recently? She already got gloves recently. In her uh, New Year's outfit. I'm surprised I haven't seen anything involving those. Given how uh, down bad people tend to be for her. I think we're cooking here. Just for a fuck. <laughs> just for a fuck? No, just for a test. <laughs> Is what I mean to say. Okay. I'm starting to. I'm, I'm feeling this. Yeah. Yeah, all right, it's coming together. Did I erase the goddamn lines inside the... erasing things that are important. I just love erasing things and undoing too much. It's so good. I think one of my least favorite parts about using the shortcut uh, keys in Clip Studio is that one of these things is mapped to like move an object on a different layer. I don't know, is it control? Yeah, control. If you like press control and then just like tap the wrong thing, like too fast because control is like part of a multiple keybinds, it'll move a different layer. And so sometimes I'll be like, oh, I need to control space to zoom in or control shift whatever to like rotate or something. Um, but if you do too fast, it moves an entire other layer. And so sometimes I move it like that much, like just a tiny bit. And then I come back later and I'm like, fuck, my colors have moved by one centimeter. 
And I don't know how long ago it was. And I know you can lock layers underneath, I'm just stupid and I don't. I always forget. <laughs> Alright, where the hell are we here? Multiply, multiply, multiply. We might be at a point where we can move on to a uh, color. What the hell is this? Oh, this is the original. Okay. What is this? That's all this. Okay, you guys can go away. A different folder, so I don't have to see you. Lines. Color. Lighting. Okay. I don't think we're gonna get through all the lighting today. Yeah, probably not. Uh, but at least we'll put the flats down, I think, for colors. Uh, and then maybe start lighting. Maybe we'll do, like, one layer of shadow or something. I guess lighting also counts as some rendering uh, using this approach, this different approach. <clears throat> Insane progress. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to get this for. Um, I'm still a little bit iffy about the face and the head, to be completely honest with you. At least the face is something I can fix quickly. But yeah, the general head area is a little on the fence. The good thing about this process versus the other ones is that I'm not... Uh, well, I'm everything is still kind of separated to a certain point. So there's a lot of time for me to consider things with like color. Oops. Before, you know, it's too late. So I can like sleep on it and then come back and be like, you know what? I like it or I want to change it. Well, I'm going to turn off the hair, actually. I think I might split the hair. Where are these lines at? Putting the flats down and <laughs> being mean to Ina and Bibu. Poor girls. It's kind of funny to think that Iris wanted to be flat for her model. And that if that reality had come to pass, we'd be making flat jokes about her. But knowing her, she probably would, like, embrace it, and it wouldn't be effective at all. Oh yeah, fair warning if you're like watching me do these flats right now. A lot of people recommend to actually fill in the flats with like by hand with a brush. Um, because otherwise it feels like too like like digital, I guess. And I'm just using the fill tool here. Which like leaves a very clear like border and stuff. That's it, it's fucking whatever. Now you choose, you know, whether you'd rather do it like fill tool the way I'm doing or not. 
I don't particularly think this works that well with my approach because I set all the lines to multiply so that some color shows through the line art. I don't think it's like super good for that because then you can see underneath the lines like where the edges are. What if I did color burn actually? Hold up. What does color burn do? I know some people use color burn. Nah, actually. Kind of ass. TBH. Oh, well, maybe when I change the colors, it'll... To, like, actual skin color, it'll be good. It's actually Lack, who's, like, Flair's designer. And some of his stuff he uses, like, color burn uh, for the line art, I think. And some other, like, wacky combo of layer, layer modes for stuff. Where's the hair? I need to know what points I can stop coloring. <clears throat> cool. Yeah, for hair I can do independently, I think. Actually, I need a little break from drawing because my back is a little bit tired. <sighs> In fact, I will go get another cookie. How are you guys doing? How are you guys holding up? <laughs> I've been just doing like tedious, tedious sketching and line work. I hope you guys aren't like being bored to death. <laughs> uh, this is the base. New skin. had a flatmate you could be helping your back pain while I grind on this art. I don't know that they would want to do that, honestly. How big can I make this pure ref window out of curiosity? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I can turn it backwards and upside down. That's sick. Mm hmm. Okay. Hmm. Oh, maybe I should also draft what the background is going to be. I want it to be something a little bit different than this, like pure white thing that's going on in the ref here. Although it might be fine, because like Flair's design is already pure white, so if it's kind of bright in the background, then like, you know, no wait, I was going to say the foot would stand out, but she wears white tights. So in the barefoot version it would be fine, but for the tights version it might be too much white. Questions for future me to deal with. Nah, I should do it now. At least put something. Color. Just, oh, these are the old sketches. Ok, 
like it, so... You know, there's like a, a thing she's sitting on here. It's a chair of some sort. Uh, okay, so... You know the reference, right? You can see like the corner of the wall or whatever of the room behind her. And I think that kind of helps out with like the... Um, what is the word I'm looking for? The composition? Because I think this composition that they're using is the... Um, God, what? I don't remember the name. It's one of the golden triangle, I think, where it's like this, focus point is here, this, and then focus point is like here, roughly. At least it's along that line. But that could work. What if I put... Hmm. Mm, mm, okay. What if we try to make this like a forest or something? What if there's like trees back there? Like instead of being just the back of a wall, there's, there's like a tree. Why am I drawing this in blue? Just use a brush, bro. It's like midday sky it up back here. Wait, that's the opposite of midday sky. It's brighter at the top. I think. Possibly. I have to bust out Gurney's book in a little bit. When in doubt, just bring the big red chair. Red will always solve our problems. God, paint and apply is like too powerful on my computer. Again, I am stupid. It should be diagonal because she's diagonal. Oh god, what did I do? Bad color. Totally unrelated to art, but when I end up like eternally scrolling like Instagram reels and stuff, I've started getting recommended like crazy ass parkour videos like the ones where people like go to the edge of like 40 50 60 story buildings and just do like front flips off the edges of them and shit like i don't know why i'm not interested any in, in any of that but they keep it keeps like showing it to me and now i can't stop watching them For I need correction layer. Tone curve. Brighter is better. <laughs> uh, if this is my blue, what looks brown compared to that? That's tough, because, like, anything could look brown. I'm not even going to see the tree trunk behind her. Maybe that means it's a bad idea. What if I make it like a birch tree or something? That could be sick. Yeah. Then it still have to be kind of whitish.
I should probably look for like references of a birch forest or something. Instead of winging it. That's fine. As long as I have a general idea of what the background could be, that's better than nothing at all. here and then the shadows will really take care of the rest of uh, white white and blue I don't think it's pure white that's not even okay shit maybe it is there's no fucking way that's completely white what Interesting. I hate trusting the process. I don't want to trust the process. <laughs> in because the shoe is going to come later. Oops, I moved that thing. Lines. Jesus, it's a big brush. Clothes and then clothes blue. Clothes blue. Blue, blue, blue.
Looks like we, this is the only blue you're gonna see on her. The rest is white, orange. Okay. <clears throat> color combo. Why am I doing this? I guess flare would be like... Mm. This looks a little better, I guess. the bat okay that explains why I feel stupid the background was all white instead of gray compared to this what are we gonna go with white Man, maybe it is just pure white. That's kind of annoying. I hate that. I actually hate that. Right there, and then it's blue on the sleeve. Top. But this is basically all of her clothing you're ever gonna see here. Uh, except for when we draw in the skirt part on top over here. It's gonna be like draping across the legs. That'll be fun to figure out. Oh, yeah, so shoes, okay, face. Face of the skirt. Skirt, sleeve, shoe. Yeah. That's the order, I think. Hair or hair? Such a pain in the ass. Bright hair color. What the f- am I going insane? Why does everything seem so dark? Hello? Nah, 
Eddie. There we go. I don't know why I'm doing it with this color first. I should do it with an easier to see color. Yeah, so shit like this doesn't happen. You don't get weird transparent spots that I missed. My fucking neighbor? Like 2 a.m. What the fuck? Why is he awake at DJ hours?
Okay, and then I think those are pure white. Well, almost pure white. Okay, man is up to watch Coroni stream. She's streaming now? Or streaming soon? Oh, oh shit, she is. Oh, she's been streaming. Who is streaming? Oh, hey, Reese's, <laughs> Reese's gonna do fishing. That's cool. Fishing. I think Luna did the fishing stream a couple- or that fishing game a couple times. Uh, okay, it's a hair, and then I'll do shoe also. Shoe is the same color blue. Yeah, yeah, basically. Okay. That's yellow. It's not like... Is that the same color as her hair? I don't think it is. No, it's slightly darker. That color, I think? Ooh, good question. Is What color is the inside of her shoe? This actually goes up into the heel part. I don't know, what color do you think it is? Do you think it's white inside or if it's is it still blue? Stone? Okay. I wonder if it would be a different shade of blue or the same one is fine. Oh wait, this actually comes up a little further. And it's darker but not more saturated. Mm, okay, in the actual rendered model version though, the heels are like I don't know if it's just because they're gold. That's a different color though, right? Like That's like a reddish orangish color, not a gold. Like over here. Yeah, it's like that color. That's weird. Yeah, I think it's just because this one is rendered and that one's not. But like, even this color in the middle, the brightest part, is not even that color. 
And the same thing doesn't happen here for this gold part, right? Because that gold and then this gold are the same. Interesting. Maybe he changed it to like a more brass-like metal? Doesn't have any other... There's nothing else on her that's like that same material. Huh. Interesting. I'll make it a little bit brighter though. We're gonna bring down that brightness with some uh, shadows and stuff in a bit. Or later. Just, just the shoes there, it's like a brass to gold or something, yeah. Weird. thing I'll do. Lines. Ah, dang, how are we gonna do the... Uh, still don't know how we're gonna do the tights, to be completely honest, but... Can at least try to draw them in. with a different color first, as usual. Just so we know where, where we're at. And then I'll outline them. squish. I'll probably just put like a layer underneath or something. With like very very slight corrections. Give us the, the squish over here. Fill in mono just to smooth out any parts that are not filled in. The edge, I don't really care about that much. Ow, the edge.
Well, this is going to be interesting because I have not drawn many white tights before. I don't know what's a good base, not that. It's not a good base color. It's too dark. What a good base color would be. Because uh, my only my only experience is doing black tights, so. I'm gonna make this outline a little bit bigger. Just 17. I want this outline to stand out a bit more because this is going to be the, you know, the front and center part, right? Like the focus. Although honestly, that's not that much bigger, but... <laughs> well, when we're done, we'll see how it turns out. If it's not enough, I'll just do another black outline. Or like, extremely dark outline to sell. Wait, what the fuck? Why is it... Okay, that's weird. It was the wrong layer mode. Fill it in and then uh, erase the bits I don't need later. Just maybe the angle that the tights over there are at, where they wrap around the thigh. That doesn't seem quite right for this position. We'll get it. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I think maybe this should actually come out. Like this, even? on the wrong layer. God damn it.
Something like that, maybe. And the problem is that the tights are also exactly the same color as the white on her her dress and everything. Those are very blue shadows. I hope that's not like actually pure white. Wait, I can color pick. What am I saying? Edit. Uh, select. How do I pick? Oh, wait. I? Dang it. Dang it. The window pick from. Anyone remember how to pick colors from the other monitor, other parts of the monitor? I know there's like a. There's like a shortcut for it, but I completely forgot what it is. Uh, fell, 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 the wrong color. Oh, pick screen color. There we go. Uh, you. What color is this? That's not white. It's almost white. You're joking, right? It's that color? Well, shit. Okay. I can work with that, I think. No. I don't wanna I don't wanna just like blatantly color pick is the thing. Just went in a circle, that's the same blue I had before. Base skin color is way more saturated, actually. Don't think that even if I put shadows and stuff on it, it's gonna get it to that that tone. So we're just gonna have to go for it. Be a little more aggressive. With this, I think that's a decent. Mm. It's really weird how when something becomes more orange, it also becomes desaturated.
the background is still a mystery. But, in any case, I think we're off to a half-decent start. These base colors need one more thing. And that's this stuff. The gold. Uh, I think it's a different gold in her hair, but we'll just pick that as a reference. There is like a border to it. Okay, cool. To be completely honest, that kind of border is the thing I can draw in at the very end or like later. It's gold though, so it's gotta be a little. Yeah, that's a little better. quickly do sleeve, I guess. got stripes on it. Yeah. This is all temporary stuff. Uh, but as long as the rough idea is there, I can come back to it later and fix it. Probably a decent stopping point for today, I think. Uh, oh, well, one last thing I can do is just like put in a big shadow or something for the hair behind. Lines lighting color, lines sketch. Something like this.
What's this actually look like? Yeah, okay. same blue but it's a different actual color blue and I don't know what it is so I'll figure that out tomorrow <laughs> whenever I draw again it's like a much darker blue her ribbon is off center or what's the word for it not off center but not Okay. I'd say that's like a decent spot to be in, probably. Okay. So, oh god, that was a lot of time for like not a ton of progress. <laughs> Like, lines and, I guess, flat colors? Eh. I mean, we're somewhere. We're, like, not at the very beginning anymore, but... I don't know how I feel about it. Once I've slept on it. Coming together, though? Yeah. Just getting there. Why is this... Oh, near the monopen. Check size. These two are still bothering me. What should I do for the background? Okay. Otherwise, we're getting, you know, we're getting there. Oh, God, this is like my least favorite spot to leave it off at. Because I always feel like the, the the lines and stuff look in the sketch look way better by themselves than they always do with color, like with flat colors. And I know it's like, oh, well, with the flat colors don't worry, like you're eventually going to paint on top of them and stuff, but I can't help it. It just still feels weird. <laughs> Sleeve shoe, yeah. We'll pick up next time and, and we'll make some more serious progress then. Yeah, so next would be like putting in the shadows, the lighting, really. So I gotta figure out the background before that point so that I know what, to, what the lighting should roughly be. And then we'll do all that lighting and, and rendering stuff. The next time will probably be a big rendering festival, is my guess. But yeah, I think that's a that's a good place to call it, probably, for today. We got some stuff done. Yeah. Oh, my back. Oh. But yeah, so yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be it, I think. So as per usual, thank you all for coming. Thanks for sticking around and watching. Got the good stuff next time. Yeah, the next time we'll hopefully actually see it like come together for real. Uh, I'm yeah, I'm this is this is like the precarious part where I don't know if it feels good or not. So 
I don't know. But yeah, whenever we whenever we get to the rendering, it'll be a, a fun time all on its own. But yeah, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Thanks for spending many hours if you were here the whole time. And I guess, yeah, next time we'll continue with this one, unless if I do another poll for some reason, uh, we end up doing something else or drawing someone else. Yeah, thanks for thanks for coming, and I, I will see you next time. Have a good rest of your Saturday. Well, it's probably not Saturday for you anymore. Have a good rest of the weekend, and I'll see you next time I see you. Bye! Bye-bye!